here with cousin Vlad. <laughs> How are you, bro? The cheekiest masso yeah, in cheeky. Australia, mate. Yeah. Have you met any other massos out here? You I haven't. actually have. Yeah, there's one girl I met that was that was masso. By the way, in Canada, we call them Massies. Massies? Yeah, that's what I would call them. Really, yeah, Massies? Yeah, when I was growing up, I, I had a few Macedonian friends. Yeah, right, Massies. And uh, I would I'd be like, yeah, he's Massy. You know? <laughs> yeah, is there massos over there? Yeah, Massies there's plenty. Over there? Yeah, there's plenty. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm in Toronto, so Toronto is like the hub for all the cultures. Yeah, oh, I see. All the Balkans, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's almost like a Sydney of Canada, right? Toronto, mm, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like yeah. as in with Wogs concerned. Yeah, everyone's concerning. mixed together. Yeah, yeah, Asians, Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More it's Asians than Indians, and very then some white. Yeah, and then and then all the blacks and the more Asian than Indian. Eastern. There's well, there, there's always more Asian and Indian. Yeah, yeah. Right? That, but that's just everywhere. Yeah, that's for the just most everywhere. Part, you know, but yeah. it doesn't matter where you are, you'll find them. Right, you'll find them. Yeah, like this. You, they like could, to work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if. There's only one Chinese person and one Indian person. They're in every city. Off there in every city. They will yeah. be everywhere, yeah. right? But there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of them around <laughs> in general. Like you, you won't, yeah. you won't, you can't say the same thing about Massos, though. No, we got two million in the world, bro. That's no, ma- maybe three million in the right. world. Yeah, yeah exactly. we're a dying breed, like really? a dying eh? race. Well, why are you dying breed? Well, we, we're still pounding, like we're still having pounding. kids, like drilling, smashing, <laughs> thrashing, whatever you want to call it, but. Like it's it's not as much as like China. I don't know how China got it up to like one point four bill with one kid each. Like what That's is it? Wild, they're an animal. It's wild. They're going yeah, nuts. It's wild. Now well, respect India just, to India the just Asian people. Them, don't though. don't come try to cancel us. We're giving you respect. Hey man, we yeah. keep it raw in here. We're just having so, conversation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But <laughs> See, you're not as politically <laughs> correct as me. I could tell straight no, away. Definitely not. Yeah. yeah so. It's okay. You don't have to be politically it's correct. Channel, it's yeah. my, I'll, I'll uh, be the one. <laughs> don't come at me. I've got 2,000 thou- <laughs> followers on Instagram. <laughs> Here's a family, all right? Leave yeah. them alone, all right? Yeah. I'm single. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, um, sick. But, uh, sorry, wh- 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 why do you wear glasses? I've got a stigmatism in the eye. The eyes are a little bit cross-eyed. Wear the glasses. Oh. The story goes with the Vlad, I had the glasses on the first video I ever made. So it was just by accident and it ended up being the thing, right? So it was something to notice. Yeah, everyone's got something you notice and buy, right? Mm. Whether it be their voice or their outfit or their hairstyle or something like that. The Sunnies just happened to be on when I made a video five years ago in my car. I had a suit on because I worked in real estate before when I was, like before I did this. And the Sunnies were on because I used to run a lot and I wore these like the worst looking sunnies, bro, these Oakleys. With a suit, there's possibly not a worse looking sunny to put on. You didn't know with a suit you put on like a designer brand or Ray Bans, it looks sick. But you put these on a suit, it's like like drug dealers, Aussie speed <laughs> dealers, that kind of people used to like Westies and things like that. What's Westies? Westies are like um you know like like uh, trailer trash people oh, in okay, America, yeah. you call them like that kind of mm. thing. Yeah, we call it like we used to call them Westies. Now they try to cancel me for that, but they don't have accounts. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> and I had that on, and people were just like, "Man, this is this is hilarious." This video, all my mates said it, and I was that you should make some more videos about real estate. So I just literally had the glasses on by chance because I broke my uh, I had Ray Bans. I broke them. And um, I just left them on. I made a few more videos. And then people were like, just start a channel. Start its its own channel for Vlad. And I started and I left the sunnies on. And then after like five videos, there was no way I could take them off. Because it, was, it just started to look consistent with them on on the page. I'm a bit OCD about things. I brought the suit. It's outside. Like here. Oh, you I, brought it? Yeah. Okay. Like... I'm OCD about it, man. Like when I go on stage, I wear the sunnies that I wore the first time I ever did Vlad. So it's, I don't know. It's just like that. So, you know, be, behind the scenes, I don't wear them when I meet people and shit like that. But that's why I'm I was surprised when I, when we first met. You weren't wearing them. I was yeah, like, what the fuck are the sunnies? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. you phony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to make you Fraud. feel like like you won't even be able to get to know me either. Like a lot of people, like I hang around with other comics. They're like. Why are you wearing the sunnies backstage? And I'm like, bro, I need to get in the zone. You mm. know, dude? like I just can't. It, when I put them on, I get instantly in the comedian mindset. And when I have them off, I feel like, you know, I'm in the dad mindset. 
Like I got shit to do. <laughs> but I put them on. I'm like, all right, let's talk shit for a bit now. So right now, this is a a comedian the character mindset, yeah. of Vlad. Yeah. Well, it's just it. me with Sonny's on, but like more in comedian. Right. I've shifted into the gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. You're more manual. You're I'll take them off. Podcast going to be boring. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. No. Damn. No. That's in, that's got to have something, bro. Like, I, I don't know. It's just I've looked around at other comedians and I'm like, you're all fucking characters of some derivative. Mm -hmm. They all are. Like, it's you're embellishing something, whether it be loudness on stage. I'll see some of the loudest people on stage and backstage, it doesn't say shit. Mm. I'm like, you're not that loud bogan guy that you are on stage, right? That's and true. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a, that's interesting because uh, I always say that about comedians who are really dark on stage, yeah. or they're like mean, or they come off as aggressive. Yeah. But off stage, they're the nicest people. They're the yeah, best yeah. people. Yeah. But the opposite is also true. Yeah, you man, see I the cleanest guys on stage. Yeah. Off stage, are assholes. Cunty. Dicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So same kind of vibe. But I totally don't know what you mean because when I do the characters as well, yeah, uh, I have to do them in the suit like, or like the the outfit. Yeah, you, you can't get, you get because in a otherwise zone. you're like, what is this? Like it's just you don't yeah. even feel like it's real. That's right. As opposed to when you put the outfit on, you actually immerse yourself into that person. Exactly. Right. And, and that character, like that's the thing that people always ask me, like, are you like this? Yeah, like I am. Everything that I say and talk about is just me in a suit with sunnies. I could do it in jeans and no sunnies as well. But because I've got the fucking look now, it's easier for eyes to watch. They're like, oh, I've seen that guy before. You know, if I tie my hair up and wear reading glasses and try to do a bit, I'm starting from zero in a way again. So I just kept, kept them on. I was like, all right, that's my look. A lot of the comics that I play with on stage, they wear the same shit every time they get up. It's the, it's the faded jeans with the black T-shirt and the running shoe. Like, that's his exactly style. What I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and at Seinfeld, he wore the suit the whole time. And I, I see people wearing, like, shorts and, and all the time in shorts, you know, mm. high socks. and R Who who does that? Yeah, there's comedians in Australia that rock shorts oh, on stage. Oz, yeah. yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah in Australia, yeah. Oh, Aussies are just something else. <laughs> we have a weird... Bro, we're on an island and no one gives a shit what we're doing here. You don't even know what you're doing here. We don't. And you want know to find really <laughs> funny about you guys, like American and Canadians, we think we're so fucking cool Aussies. Oh, yeah. And we are kind of, in a way, like a bit retarded, but cool as well. When I speak to my American mates, they're just like, you guys aren't cool, man. <laughs> like, we, no one cares what you guys do. That's what they say to no me. No one gives a fuck, yeah. And I'm like, that's that's not nice, man. <laughs> and he's like, no, nah, truly, man. Like, no one gives a shit. Oh. Uh. It's what you guys. <laughs> you agree to it? You're like it's well, what we don't no, really it, don't care, man. It's it's well, it's just hard to it, take it's hard it to, serious. Well, that, but it's hard to relate sometimes. Yeah. It, in a weird way, I don't feel like I'm, I'm a part of something. <laughs> You know it's what I mean? It's so offensive. This whole thing is <laughs> It's like where the shit is for just the shit island down the bottom. <laughs> you don't need Antarctica. Leave them alone, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel more close with the animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the closest with the koala. Yeah, the koalas and the and the brown snakes. Yeah, yeah. the oh, dangerous wow, snakes. Bro. Yeah, that, but, I can understand it, man. Like you guys come from a place that's like moving a lot of shit, and oh, you got a call. Nah, don't worry about it. It's just my mate he wants to whinge about tennis. He loses <laughs> a lot. I smack him in tennis a lot. Yeah, but um, yeah, I I kind of get it, man. Like, what, what what's yeah. what what's your experience? Going to America. I've always had great experiences, bro. Like, I've been to Canada like five times. Maybe, yeah, at least Where, five Where'd times. you go to Canada? I went to West Coast. I've been to Vancouver, I reckon, four times. I like skiing. Oh, so okay. since a kid, I've been skiing. Um, so I've, I've gone to Vancouver. I'm, uh, that's British Columbia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, BC. Yeah, and um, the one after that, the next one over. Uh, Alberta? Yeah, Alberta. Alberta's nice too. Yeah, I went to have... Uh, Dinner with Jordan Peterson at his house. He invited me what? over. Jordan Peterson, you know the... You know Jordan the, Peterson? Yeah, we're mates. How man. the fuck do you know Jordan Peterson? Before he was famous, like I was texting him back and forth. <laughs> 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 
I was like, there's yeah, no yeah. way you fucking yeah, know this guy. Uh, that's the only reason I know the word Alberta from him going, I'm uh, from Alberta. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. In Alberta. Yeah, in Alberta. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I've been a ski bro. Like that's it. Uh, Sunshine and uh, Lake Louise and stuff in oh, Alberta. Oh man, you've been there. I haven't even been there. It's I'm so jealous. Sick, it's really man. beautiful, right? It's beautiful, man. So I did that and, and that's it. I haven't been over to Toronto. Me and my missus, we're, gonna, we're going to New York, as I said to you. And we're going to go up to... Um, What's the French one called? Quebec? Quebec. In and Canada? Mont- Mont- Montreal? Montreal. Montreal, yeah. We're going to go there to watch Sebastian Maniscalco. Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool. He's there yeah. in November or something. Oh, all right. And um, and she was like, all right, let's fly over or whatever. But in the end, we cancelled and we're going to go to LA and try to ah. do some spots yeah. at the Laugh Factory and at the okay. store. So that's I'd rather nice. do that. What, what would you say is the biggest difference or at least biggest culture shock from here to America? Canada, I find kind of similar, man. But you talk about America, 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 America yeah. yeah, man. Um, it's it's chalk and cheese, bro. It's chalk and cheese. Yeah, what's the, that? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <we had> <laughs> You're gonna and, explain yeah. a lot of things today. Yeah, that's all right. Chalk and cheese are like two things that look similar, but they're fucking totally different. You know, chalk. Yeah, oh, you okay, write okay. on a board, right? So kind of could be yellow chalk and the yellow <laughs> cheese. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's an old fucking saying. I don't know if that's an English saying or whatever, but yeah, we maybe. take a lot of British stuff as mm. well. Right. But, yeah. not a, You guys don't take that much British idioms I mean, and all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, we do, actually. Yeah? Well, I, it's funny because I don't know if it's if regular British to mm. regular actual English in Canada, but the slang in Toronto mm. is actually pretty identical to the UK like roadman slang, like the, yeah, the really? hood slang. I love it's that very, slang. It's like exactly the same almost. What, the gang slang? I don't know, I don't know if it's gang. Yeah, I guess. Or you want to call it urban. Talk. It's just street, street talk. Yeah, street yeah. slang, yeah. It's, it's like, more like that way. It's, 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 it's almost identical. Oh, Toronto specifically. We don't do any of that shit. Toronto to UK yeah. slang is, yeah. is identical almost. Yeah, right. Obviously, yeah. they have their own stuff and we have our own stuff, but generally speaking, there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, like for, for example, like I don't know if you're familiar with any like roadman, UK roadman slang. Are you? Yeah, I mean, the worst name for a rap genre is roadman. <laughs> it's like someone that help, does the stop signs. Like the worst. <laughs> I, I know, I get it. Like roadman. I'm not, I like. All of these Central C and all of these yeah, other yeah, got yeah. Dave. Dave a guy Dave's was great. Just, yeah, Dave. Yeah. Just Dave. Just Dave. I mean, the, my man Dave. Unless he was famous, no one would find him on Spotify. <laughs> no <ever>. one, never <laughs> with that name, bro. Yeah, but um, I I like their shit. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with the, the, the slang? slangs. No, it's it was. I'll give you an example. Like in Toronto, we say fam. So yo, fam. yo okay, what's I know up? that. Yeah, what's up, fam? And then I'm like, yo, why go on fam? Why are they going Jamaican though? Well, it's based off Jamaican influence. Both of them. Oh. Because there's so many Jamaicans in the UK and in Toronto. Oh, really? It's, it's, it stems from Jamaican wagwan. culture. Yeah, yeah Wagwan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even, yeah, in Toronto, we say, yo, yo, Wagwan, Wagwan fam. Really? Yeah, yeah, swear to God, Wagwan fam. Yo, yo, Wagwan, my you. Yeah, wow, well, we'd my get you. bashed if we did that. <laughs> uh, if I went up to any of my mates and said Wagwan, <laughs> you're like, the guy would go, shut the fuck up straight away. No, but you, shut you can only get away with it if you say Wagwan can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wagwan can't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, okay. Yeah, now, yeah. now that makes sense. Yeah, thanks, mate. We don't do any of that, man. We don't. We don't take much of the Yankees either. They're Americans. I mean, I just think Amer- America to me. I was there last year. I was in Utah, and I liked it, man. Like, I like the people. Um, their service industry is much better than ours, bro. What you think so? Yeah, Why? dude. You fucking sit down at a restaurant over there, and we weren't going to glitzy stuff. Just kind of mid range stuff. Uh, the people are on ya. They help you. Yes, sir. What do you need, sir? Right away, sir. <laughs> Fucking nice, bro. You got like... You, how you doing, in, sir? Sir, how are you? Because I don't know whether it's the tip. But it is a tip. He, yeah, maybe. It's like over here, you get like a disgruntled uni student. She hates her life. She doesn't want to... She doesn't want... Yeah, hi, how can I help you? Like you see it in their face, <laughs> you know? And you're like, your heart's not in this. Leave. Yeah. Right, but they don't have a choice. They're Australians, and their parents make them work for yeah. like, uh, good. you know, yeah. which is good. Yeah, man, I get it. But I guess it is the tip culture then. It's the, it's all the tip because they're just putting it on, so you, you can that? tip them more. In Canada, Canada same thing, same exact. Fucking thing. awesome. No, it's terrible. We hate it. Oh, really? Yeah, but I fucking hate it. But you're nice to people because you want yeah, a but little it's dog. fake. 
It's fight. But you know what? You know what I'm, I hate I'm about happy it. With that. The thing about tipping, I have beef with. Mm. You, you know what beef is, right? I know. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. same shit. Yeah. Well, we say in Toronto a lot too, but yeah, yeah. Um, well, we say beef now. Yeah, yeah. This uh, the beef I have with tipping is the, at least the tipping culture in America and the and in Canada is that I hate that the onus of you getting paid is on me uh, as the, the customer. Yeah, because now I feel obligated. Yeah, to like. If I like depending on how much I give you, mm. that determines how your night goes, and I'm like that's fucked up. I think it's kind of you manipulative. feel guilty as a customer. Yeah, hundred percent. I definitely feel a difference too. Now that I've lived here for a long yeah. time, yeah, I feel way more at ease over here. Yeah, because I've experienced that my whole life, right? But now I come yeah. here and I notice that no one gives a shit about tips. You're, you don't. It's not even a part of the no, culture. You just have to pay, and they're not even tax either. You just pay whatever the, is that's there. It. That's it. It's consolidated. Easy. You already taxes know how in. much it is, right? That's it. No stress, no. right? Over there, I'm like, oh fuck, okay, oh my gosh, yeah. she's acting all nice. She's like giving us this thing, and how are you, sir? True. How's it, right? Hey, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. That you can tell they're kind of trying sure, to pull it sure. out. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So fucking nice. But then now I'm like, the whole time I'm having my meal, I can't even enjoy it because I know what's coming. Because now right. the moment of truth, drop the the check. Ten percent um, embarrassing. Ten percent is embarrassing now. Yeah, twenty yeah. percent, or you're an absolute fucking piece not of human. shit. You're not human. Yeah, so. I, I got chased out of a place in in LA by a girl that that um, she wasn't happy with my tip. There you go. And she walked like exactly. maybe fifteen meters out of the shop and yelled, and That's then hilarious. I came back, and she was like, "Sir, what about my tip?" And I was like, "I, I put seven bucks down." Yeah, and she goes. No, the tip should be 20%, so you owe me $15 more. And I was like, what? I, I, I don't owe you nothing. Like, this was 10 years ago. Oh, my God. I still God. remember in LA, man. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then I was <laughs> like, I can't, this, this, this mental, and I took out 10. I was like, and she was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, man, I've got, otherwise I've got to break 100. Like, what do you want me to do? She was like, I can break that for you. And I was like, just take the 10. Bro. Like the audacity, you know, but I get like, that's when I, w I was angry at that point. I was like, fuck this bitch. And that's when I came home. I was like, I'd rather just a, a, a person doesn't want to do their job and they just give me the coffee and just goes five bucks here. And that's it. Like I'd I don't much have to rather tip. That. So yeah, you come from that world. So I suppose, <sighs> yeah, it's, yeah, I don't care right. if it's not made with love. It's yeah. the same formula. Just give it, Just yeah. Just give me the coffee. Move the fuck on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I like being pampered a bit at a restaurant, I suppose. Yeah, yeah once yeah, in a, a while, prissy, sure. Yeah. But no, but I still get that experience here sometimes. Like, people are still nice. On upper restaurants, for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sure. But they don't yeah. have to be, right? Yeah. But yeah, that's... What was the... Um, was she a young woman? Yeah. The one in LA? Oh, uh, nah. No? Nah. Older lady? Nah, nah. She would have been like, this was her career job. You oh, know what well, I mean? that's yeah. why. Because she's yeah. this banking on this tip. Exactly, like the fucking acting didn't take off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's yeah. bitter. She's bitter. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, She's stuck I in can LA. see that now at 40. Like, this mm -hmm. shit doesn't take off for me. I'm like, <laughs> back in real estate going, just fucking lease it. <laughs> you know? you know, it's two bedrooms. Yeah. yeah, just do it, brother. Yeah, man, I can see it happening. Well, yeah. it's, that, that it's the entitlement I don't like. Yeah. Of uh, her the, the, coming out. Yeah, like, yeah. man, the audacity to come out and Since yell at you yeah. and be like, that's it? You owe me? Excuse me, sir. If someone said you owe me $15 yeah. off a tip, yeah. I don't even know what I would implode. I would start shaking. Well, I'll like, just yeah, start seizuring. I'm, I'm and then not that confrontational. That's the fucking problem, yeah. man. Because like, <laughs> you're, you're, you're Well, Australian back then I was way more, like, softer. Oh, yeah? Right now, like, you've been married 10 years with two kids. Like, you'd learn how to be a little bit harder, man. Like, you just... You, <laughs> I screamed the other day in Kmart. The noise that came out of like the, the voice, the project, I have never heard come out of my body, bro. Like what happened? My son went missing. And then when I found him, I yelled to him. I yelled his name out out of just anger. Because I was looking for him for like a minute and a half. It's scary as shit. Like oh, I wow. thought he may have run out yeah. into the center. Someone took him, yeah. Hey, hey. And then when I see it, I was like, Bruh! and I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I would have never beat like that single, never yell like that, bro. You don't have a reason. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, like nothing's ever driven me to the point of anger or like to be like that. But as you get older and have the kids and 
all of these like all these trials and shit that you have every day with a family you start to become more cunty so if she say it to me now i'll be like hey i left your tip you know seven bucks yeah did you want more okay yeah no worries man you shouldn't chase people out like yeah, be yeah. like that now. give her a lesson yeah but back then i was like oh, how much do you want me to give yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah right I, I, I don't know man like shit changes i suppose i changed what, a little bit what was it what was your son's name was raffi raffi was so you yelling raffi raff raff and then like loud was actually like, that loud come here yeah, oh dude first it was like raffi Raph, oh, Raph, yeah, like yeah, for the yeah, first yeah. minute. Right. And then I'm and then fucking a minute, you're tripping, like, dude. Yeah. My kid? Where the fuck? He's nowhere. And he's not he's, even answering. No. He's hiding under some dresses. Dude, Why? Because he just decided to go and hide from me, bro. <laughs> and I don't know, we were playing for a while and then he went around and I must have been looking at some toy or whatever. And then I've turned around, he's gone, bro. And it's always that shit like in your head where you go, you hear the parents go, I've just turned around and they were gone. And you never really get that panic unless you've got a kid. And when they're out of your sight, man, you're like, oh, fuck, man. There's nothing worse. You know, when you like leave your phone and you think you left it on the train or whatever, you're like, that mit where there's yeah. no phone on you. It's and you make that. Scotty goes, I got it, man. You're like, it's all, oh, it's, I reckon it's tenfold that. Wow, bro. really? Yeah, I've got to say it's like 10, man. What, what was running? Like your heart rate's roof. <laughs> it's yeah. roof. What was running through your head, though? Like, in, Oh, he's gone. He's been kidnapped. Straight away, Fuck. like I'm not logical, bro. Like you don't get a logical kind of go. Hey, he's within fifty meters. You know what I mean? <laughs> At that point, there's there's some guy with a comb over and umbro shoes taking him to a van. Oh my god! You know what? He's giving him a cookie. Come over here. You know, look at this Ninja Turtle toy. Uh, that's all through my fucking head. <laughs> Fuck, I'm an that's idiot. That's wild. <laughs> I'm an idiot. And you were with your other kid too. No. It was just you and just your son. Him, yeah. Man, that's rough. Yeah. Was it, he's four, man. Was like, it busy? No. Oh, it was wasn't just, that it was busy. Dead. Oh, okay. So that was kind of, that was at least, once I've lost him, better. when it's busy. Oh. oh, the other day I went to a soccer match. Yeah. Soccer, do you call it soccer or football? Yeah, soccer. Out in um, Parramatta, right? And uh, there was 5,000 people. So it was nowhere near full. It was just one whole area of the grandstands we were in. Mm. And um, he was with me and my brother-in-law's son, like my nephew, he was just on the other side. And um, anyway, I was talking to him and I was like, stay behind me, we're walking up. So we walk up the stairs and my brother-in-law says something to me and I walk up to him, I go, yeah, get me a beer or whatever. Gets me a beer, I turn around, my son's not behind me. Oh my God. And there's all these people and they're oh cheering and shit God. like that. And then I say, say to my brother, have you seen Raf? And he's like... <laughs> What? I go, have you seen Raph? Is he, did he come with you? Dude, I think it was about 30 seconds. Like, fucking, where's Wally? Where's Waldo? Yeah, Waldo, yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking through the crowd. And, and my brother-in-law goes, he's over with my son over there. So he's gone between oh. the people and, and over to this side, man. It was fucking sketchy. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that, that's like, for me, a, a fear, bro. Yeah. Like, losing my kid in a crowd or oh whatever. I couldn't deal with that shit, you know? Bro, you're lucky you're over here in Australia. If this was in, like, Asia or, like... What, Tokyo somewhere? I'm fucked, We're bro. fucked. And they can't understand a what you're saying? A foreign country? Well, I'm just saying, especially in, like... Or, like, in some of the European countries, too, where, like, oh, yeah. it's, like, very common. Oh, yeah. Or you go to Mexico, bro, you're done. Done. Like, what you uh, can't you take your uh, hands off You know those off Apple your things? Those uh, trackers? Yeah, yeah, the we, Apple air tags. Air tags? Yeah. We went to uh, Macedonia last year for four, four weeks, and uh, my missus goes, we're going to get these air tags, and we That's had them on his inside of his jeans on the belt <laughs> label, like on the inside, and on my daughter, like through the airports. And if we're going out like to a... A place where there's a lot of people, or whatever, we'd have these tags on them. Yeah, smart. Um, yeah, yeah, because we were just thinking, man, if we lose them here, yeah, this shit will just take us straight to the tag, you know? That's actually not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. My missus was going to stitch it into the fabric so you that's can't see crazy. it. Yeah, man. So I was like, that's pretty, really, that's cool. But we ended up just hooking it onto the belt loop at oh. the back, you know? And, does, and, they, and do they know that? Yeah. We'll oh, say you don't. don't take it off. They're oh. like, yeah, you won't take it Oh, okay. It. Yeah, yeah, they don't care. Yeah. Yeah. That's they, interesting, yeah. man. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I've heard of some horror stories of uh, in Mexico or like, yeah. in, I mean, you've seen Taken? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Even yeah. in like some Eastern European countries, I feel like 
or some of those European countries, it's more common, I think. Yeah, bro. Scary, Go to some man. sketchy Eastern European country. Yeah. You never know, man. You never... Nah, dude. That's just like... So you got to be so fucking vigilant, bro, in airports and... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is all the shit that, like, you're young. How old are you? 20-something? 20 29. 29. So, yeah, you did this... You know, you can afford the pleasure of chilling, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> once once you have a kid, it's going to be like, yeah, that kind of stuff starts to come. And that's when you stop giving a fuck about the tips as much, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> you only got so much you can be bothered with, yeah, you know, in life, you know? And as, as you start, like, I feel like yesterday I was 29, and uh, that's when I kind of got engaged, like 30 years old. Oh, no. And then when I had a kid when I was like 34, so... Yeah, you just go, oh, I can't be fucked with that. You give a fuck once you have the kid more about how people park their car. <laughs> Why the cunt in front of you is not using a blinker. You know, sh- <laughs> fucking boomer shit. You yeah. start to think like yeah. a boomer, You're bro. fully like, boomer. As yeah, as that yeah bro. Like, I'm boomer as anything. I walked in like a Kamala voter. I walked out a Trump voter from the hospital when my <laughs> son was born, you know. like just <laughs> It's completely ch- it changes you. Yeah. As soon as I walked out, I was like, they're eating the dog. As soon as I walked out. Awesome. That's pretty smart, right, actually? Yeah, yeah. I'm, tr- I'm trying to get into it. I love Trump. Yeah. Man. I love him. You love Trump? What do yeah, you love I love him? him. I love him that he doesn't give a fuck. He's a sarcastic prick. He's a comedian. And um, and he's the most anti-political guy in the world. Mm-hmm. And I like that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and not so much that he's going to do a better job or whatever. I don't know about that side of things. All I know is when I look at people like, Joe and Kamala, they're career politicians mm-hmm. and they're so good at acting the part oh, and yeah. that that pisses me off. You yeah. know what I mean? That they can't just fucking say mm-hmm. what they actually think instead of like all of this, just political talk, man. You know, And, that, and that's what bo- bothers me. Like well, since he's come around, the world's gone fucking upside down, bro. <laughs> like it's, since he started saying fake news and <laughs> all of this shit, I didn't like Trump. I was like, not yeah, a Trump yeah, guy. Yeah, same, actually, yeah. I hated him, bro. It's like, I hate this guy. He's arrogant. He's obnoxious. Like he's in, And then, as I kept watching what he was saying, a lot of it started to kind of be true. And I was like, he is probably arrogant. He's obnoxious. He's a moron. But <laughs> he's also fucking right a lot. Yeah, he's at least truthful and yeah, honest. Yeah, a lot. And then I'm like, so he's just, a, just an annoying guy that kind of speaks the truth, you know? Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I don't know, man. So since then, I was like, yeah, fuck, I like Trump, bro. No cunt wants to say it. I don't know why (laughs) they're so afraid of saying that you like Trump over, like, this other person. Who gives a fuck? We're not even from that country. No. Well, because they're worried about what other people think. And they're insecure about their their judgments towards them. Where I'm like... Well, it's hilarious. These people that don't like him are all humanitarian and stuff, but they hate someone. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like, we like humans, but not him. Yeah, Fuck. yeah, he's <laughs> such hypocrites. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's why I love your hat. The make Rakia great again. Yeah, it's a cracking hat, man. It's a great hat. DNA Distillery. Yeah, shout out to them. They've given me a lot of those hats to give out. So well, I, I, did, I didn't sweat in that one. So I got, <laughs> got a fresh. I'll one. definitely wear. Yeah. <laughs> what um? What made what made you make that? So DNA Distillery are a Rakia brand. From oh, it's Sydney. an actual Rakia yeah, brand. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, and they're sponsors of my podcast. So. They, I saw it and they sent it to me in a box, like a gift box or whatever. What do they call it when, when influencers get things these days? What's that uh, called? Care package? Care package. <laughs> Unboxing. Yeah. Get ready with me. Yeah. <laughs> get ready with me to unbox this package from Sheen. <laughs> Is there anything more fucking cringe than being an influencer, though, dude? <laughs> Bro. I don't understand what some people are influencing. But, uh, bro, nothing. The girls that are coming out with G-bangers on, we call... What's G-bangers? Uh, thongs. Oh, thongs. Yeah, yeah G-strings. Like, like the G-strings, yeah, yeah. yeah. We call them G-bangers. Bro, I don't understand. Like, literally, there are some girls I, li- I I see that are influencers that have, like, 7 million followers, and all they do is literally put, put on bikinis from but different brands. They're just influencing guys to wank. That's literally all it That's is. All it. They're G-fluencers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, or, <laughs> yes or yes, bro. This guy said jizz fluencer. Yeah, wow. But is it not? Like I've never, heard, I've never put that together. Yeah, so that's a good one. It's a good one, right? So they I'm come baffled. out, and I've looked at them, and they've like, <laughs> all you do is forward that to your horny mates. That's all you do. <laughs> 
That's so true. Is it, I, I just can't see anyone looking at those videos and being like, oh, yeah, no, it looks great. Yeah. Um, good design. Oh, it's phenomenal, yeah. And let us know what you think we should do to better the world. And the, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Hey, guys, I, I just really think that the world has gone to <laughs> shit. And, you yeah. know, there's so, there's so many things we could do by just sharing these articles. Yeah. Oh, by the way, so um, so this flap uh, actually shows <laughs> the left side of my <laughs> Labia, vagina. Yeah. Um, I'm like, bro. And the, see, the problem is if they had, if their fan base was all women, yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah. That's that's fine. You're actually, no, it's you're, it's it's that's that's the right audience that you're doing it for. Yeah. But, but when it's all men, you're not actually influencing. You people are just you're, like you said. It's just guys being horny. Yeah, I think. Look, in my opinion, I think those girls are just like um, guys. Look at that to warm up for Pornhub. Yeah, it's like that's, a, that's crazy. It's yeah, a stretch. Yeah, that's up. A, you stretch. I've heard that so much too. Yeah. Just uh, it's like a common thing. I've heard that. You watch that, up. and then you get distracted by this heathen from california and then you go i'm gonna go and now warm up the laptop now like <laughs> you know what i mean like you're warm about, up yeah that's insane dude but it is what this is what us blokes were distracted by fucking women man and all respect to you i've got two of them in my household but <laughs> it's they they are so good at getting us like <laughs> you know like, yeah, the like dog. a dog yeah, yeah. you're just like <laughs> you go man i know yeah how hard it is to can't andrew tate it you know no, what i mean no He's got seven of them in his house. He's just talking yeah, he's shit. An, he's an animal. He's yeah. an animal, this yeah. bloke. Yeah, that's that only has happened in the... I mean, I feel like it, it, it started subtly way before our social media came around, just with magazines. Mm. Right? If you, I mean, I wasn't really... Oh, yeah. I, I was around. Penthouse, but, dude. But you, you, you were... Were you born around. in 2005 or something? No, 94. 94, yes. So, so yeah, I did grow up on magazines and all those things as well. But I'm just saying that I feel like it subtly started with all that. Yeah. And then, you know, subconsciously, I feel like guys, yeah. guys would, that's, that was a common thing back in the day too. Guys would, you know, jerk it to, to magazines. Magazine, yeah. yeah. It's a real for thing. Sure. For, oh, yeah, right? dude. But now that magazine has become just social media reels. Yeah. And I, I do, I do a whole bit about that, man. Like. I do a bit in the in the late nineties when all of us started to like get into our teenage years. You'd have to get an older cousin to buy you like a penthouse Playboy and hide it in the bushes <laughs> in the sports field, and you go and get it, and your mates are like fucking all got chubbies That's in their hilarious. and ripping out pages like give me yeah, that yeah, page yeah, yeah. and taking it home, like folding up taking it yeah. home. You know? <laughs> it's fucking meant chubbies, and then, yeah. <laughs> You haven't heard oh, chubbies. Oh man, yeah. that's that's what we would call. We call them half chubs. Half chub. Yeah, we call it chubby. Yeah, get a chubby. Oh man, that's hilarious. But yeah, it's like a man, what are you gonna worldwide? That's it so is, funny. bro. Anyone that's like, it's so wild. Do you? Know, I, I heard something that they put porn into like into like Africa into some tribes recently, and all, all the guys are just batting now all day. They're not doing any anything. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's an, uh, you, that's an actual real thing? This is a real thing, man. I don't know who talked about it. I'd heard it on a pod and then there was an article about it. It's an African tribe that has never had internet. Oh. And they put the internet in the town. In the first and thing. The, yeah, these guys got like from one rabbit hole to the next onto Pornhub or whatever. Oh my God. And you can imagine like African tribe... They'd, they'd huddle together to watch the port out first, you know, before, yeah, you know, like, whoa, yeah. like, <laughs> fuck it, like how you did it in the 90s with the boys, whoa, yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck, you know, and Pamela Anderson sitting oh, there yeah. with her legs up. And, but then slowly it devolves into like, I need my pad, I need Wi Fi in the toilet, like, you, wow. then you gotta go to your own, Real you know, hot, yeah, yeah, because at first you just, you're happy to just see yeah. it, yeah, but now everyone's got on their phone, they're just batting all day what's batting masturbating oh are you guys don't say batting no i've never heard that do you say jerk off jerk off jerk, jerk off. Enough. well that's a that's, a, that's a common what, one or what do you yeah, say you, jerking off i don't know that you would say that or like you'd say uh like you know, beating your meat or something like that beating your meat you will yeah. never say that we, we say uh, batting is a wog thing yeah it's very woggy it's very sydney as well like sydney specifically? that's sydney slang like i'm having a bat that's very sydney yeah. is um that's that's my favorite slang in australia is it's is the, the sydney wogs it's the best it's my favorite the bankstown fucking I, like it is cuzzy. so fucking funny man yeah. like i grew up 
everything that I talk about is influenced by the wogs that grew up with me in Carlton and Bexley, Bankstown. My missus is from Bankstown. Oh, is she Lebo? Like, no, she's Massa. Oh, she's Massey. also Massa. Yeah, oh, she's okay. a Massey. Massey. Yeah. Like, they're so fucking preposterous, the stuff that we say as it's kids. It's wild. Because I grew up half of my life with Aussies. So yeah. the first the first half of my life, say zero to ten, was with Massos. And then ten till twenty was with Aussies. Okay. So the formative years, man, like the long hair, surfing, yeah, skateboarding. Yeah. I used to do all this Aussie oh, shit, cool. playing a band. Nice. So I really was like a weirdo for the wogs. <laughs> and then I got back into the wog scene like late teenage years. And when I hung out with the Aussies, none of them talked like us. Like the Wugs? They, no, they don't talk like that, man. Like, what's the, why? Like, what's the difference? Um, they're way more regular. They were oh. m- way more regular, like, uh, behaved. They, they had slang for stuff, yeah, for sure. But the stuff that we would say, um, it was constantly just teasing each other, constant slang. Like, just say someone's... Uh, I'll give you an example. Just say someone... Someone grabs your drink, right? He wants to take a sip or whatever. And Ozzy would say, what are you doing, mate? Oi, that's my drink. What are you doing, right? A wog, he would just say, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> like, he'll, he'll go like that first. Like, that's what are you doing. What? And then look at him. So Look at him? Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Like he'll, he'll go, look at him. Like, that means, what the fuck, that what the fuck are you doing? That's hey, so random. What are you doing? Yeah. It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, dude, it's weird. Like, uh, for example, you went up and put my shoes on. <laughs> and Aussie guy would be like, Oi, don't wear my shoes. I'll take them off, mate. We would say, Look at him. Oh, you'd say that every yeah. time. Yeah. Like, when something. What? We don't want you to do something. We would say, Look, look at, at him. him. Yeah. Like, look what you're doing. Yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. it means. Look at him. Look what he's doing. But, like,. When there's other people around as well? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Or yeah. what if it's just one-on-one? If you, you say said look something, at him? If you said something to my missus distasteful, yeah. like I won't say, mate, don't talk like that. I'll be like, look at him. <laughs> yeah, but what if it was just me and you? And I do something, I'm like... Yeah, yeah, go look at him at you. You say look at him to me. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, if we're mates for sure. What? Yeah, not just now, because we just got to know each other. Yeah, yeah. We become closer mates or whatever. Yeah. And you took the PlayStation controller off me, and I'm, I go, look at him. Oh, like, look what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. It's so as short as look at him. Mm. Yeah. That's interesting. And, and most wogs know that. Like, yeah. 90% of wogs from Sydney, if you said look at him, they'll be like, what? Like, what am I doing wrong? So, w- w- can you explain what wog is? Wog is, um, is European settlers in Australia. So, mostly European, for, say from England, oh, sorry, England, from Italy, East. So we don't call wogs French people very much, you mm. know. They're kind of westernized, but more like from Italy is a wog for sure. Mm-hmm. Serbs, Crows, Massos, Greeks, okay. Bulgarians, uh, Lebos, uh, Iraqis. A wog. We're all Persians. Yeah, you're a yeah. wog for yeah. sure. Yeah. So a wog in England is like black people. You can't say wog over there. Why? Because they call black people wogs over there. Like Africans? Yeah. Africans, they call them. I only learned that when I went there last year and I said wog a few times and people were like, you're lucky that we know you because <laughs> if you said that to other Brits, they'll be like, oh, you, you're being racist, mate. Oh, wow, really? Like, no, I'm talking about like... But it doesn't make sense over there because there wasn't a m- migration of massos to London. You know, right. they, they don't have that. Whereas Australia was built off wogs. We yeah. built everything. Yeah. You know, up from the 60s onwards, it's built by wogs. Especially in Sydney. Yeah, man. Like, from ha- every house, from houses to roads to trains. And, like, we help make this city much bigger. Mm. My grandfather worked on the train tracks, like, when he got here. Most of the grandparents are here, painters, builders. Yeah, construction workers. Yeah, construction yeah. workers. Tradies. Bricklayers, mm. plumbers, and yeah. things like that. Same so thing back home in Canada, we... It's interesting because you guys call them wogs, but we call them wops. Wops. So it's the exact same thing. Yeah, a wop. But we just call them wops in Canada. What, W-A-P? No, W-O-P. Wops. Same with you, What's W-O-G, it right? For? Yeah. Actually, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. But that's, I just know it's called wop. And you don't use that in your comedy wop. No, I don't. No. I mean, like, 
You don't say I'm a WAP. No, no, because I, I don't feel like I am. Yeah. Right? Uh, when I think of WAP, well, actually, to be honest, WAP uh, back home is technically more towards Italians. Okay. Canada. Yeah, yeah. Italians, yeah. maybe like Portuguese, or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Greeks, maybe, but like it's more so Italian. So people that are like, hey, more yeah, like, like hey, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, what are you talking about, bro? So you're you know? quite, we're like, different. So Canadian, you're quite, you feel. Me, personally? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I I'm definitely Canadianized, but I, I'm also very Persian too though. You yeah, know, yeah. It's obviously it's like my my main things online and your parents are make, born there. In, they're in, they're from Iran. Yeah. Iran, yeah. yeah. Um but yeah. Um but WAG I guess here means it's like more not just exclusive to Italians. No. Greeks are also WAGs. Oh, here. Yeah. That yeah. could be arguably the biggest WAGs. <laughs> Greeks. Greeks. Why? Yeah. Because they they've taken the word WAG completely like there was a show we called are Wog, Wog Boy. Have you heard of the movie Wog Boy? No. Oh, I've heard. So yeah, I have. Yeah. Someone told me to watch it. Yeah, man. So Wog Boy part one, two, and three, Sushi Mango were in the last one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I gotta watch this. So the original Wog Boy is a guy called Nick Giannopoulos from from Melbourne. Okay. He's like 60, 62 now. Mm. And he, he was in the 90s. A huge star, bro. Like I'm talking about selling out the Enmore Theatre for like six weeks. You know, oh wow! Yeah, bro. Like every night. Yeah. You know that kind of stuff. So crazy. He he had the he. I think he. <laughs> this is true, bro. He trademarked the word wog, so he owns the word wog. Oh wow! Yeah, in Australia. If you look <laughs> up the, is it trademark? Trademark. Yeah, yeah trademark. trademark. Yeah. So if you look up wog, so if you're gonna do a movie and you call it the wog, yeah, you have to pay him. Are you serious? Yeah, man. He owns that word here. He's trademarked it. Yeah. I mean, I guess no one's really using that, though. In no. movie or anything. Like. No, no, you, you, they're not. But it's a big thing. Well, but, man, this is the fucking retarded thing about it. Aussies who called us wogs. That was the N-word for us, <laughs> right? We took it on board. So yeah. I wish I could say the N-word and, like, the way... <laughs> you know the way black people say yeah, it? It's yeah. the coolest word to say it to is. each other. It's amazing. Yeah, I love it. And I used to say it always with my mates before everything became politicized. Yeah, 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 of course. Because rap is, like, my favorite genre, mm. right? Going to get cancelled for this bit anyway. There you go. So Perfect. We're putting this... Putting this out blasting there. Blasting this on social. Exactly. I'm Joe Rogan from Australia <laughs> now. And um, everyone that we used to skate with, and we're all saying the word to each other. Of course. Not to black people. No, you never do that. As mate, as a word for yeah, ma yeah. a derivative of mate. You can't say, what's going on, Wog? We don't say that to no, each other. You it doesn't flow. It doesn't flow. Yeah. So um, they gave it to us. But it's really funny now that now we're not even allowed to say it. What do you mean you're not allowed to say Like, it? it's frowned upon to say wog. What? It's taboo. It's like, I've had many posts taken down off Instagram for using the word wog. What? Yeah. B many do. Are you serious? Yeah, I had a, a video called Wog Cars that had half a million views in the first day. Okay, this thing's going to go viral. Took it down for hate speech. What? Yeah. Last year. Sort of God. Unreal. Crazy. So now I have to put ethnic cars and that just, ah. it's not as fun, man. Shake you say my head. Cars is fucking, yeah, exactly. What a disgrace! What I th it's so similar to Canada too. They uh, they, they've taken down some of my stuff that isn't even bad. But the thing is, they are their algorithms are 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 made to to flag certain words. Yeah. So no matter what the context is, they don't care. They don't care about the context because right? they don't care about the context. Yeah. They just care about the words that you're using. Yeah. That, well, that I sense. I kind of appealed it. And uh, I was in Europe at that time. I was going to my missus, hey, look at this video. I've never had this many views because I don't have that many followers. And she was like, wow, look how many people are watching this. I was like, this is crazy. And the next day, it just wasn't on my page. Yeah. And I was like, what's going on? Uh, so, so I annoying. appealed it and then they rejected the appeal. And then you go to some other appeal where a bunch of morons sit around the table and go is this racist yeah yeah and i wrote out like a page thing just out of principle i was like man this is not racist i'm talking about cars that we love mm -hmm. that was all it just said some of the best wog cars that's what i yeah. said yeah. near some pulsar whatever mm. bro and then they took it to this the round table moron meeting and um it came back <laughs> moron. yeah it came back again like sorry man we're not gonna yeah i've dealt with that before too yeah. What what does WOG stand for? We, I was always told by probably Aussies as a G up, uh, welcome overseas gentlemen. 
welcome, welcomed, a welcomed, welcomed overseas, overseas gentleman. gentleman. But Interesting. if you go to England, they say it's short for gollywog. Oh, gollywog, which is quite racist, right? What does gollywog mean? Curly hair, like Afro hair. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so it's right. quite that's, racist. They, they, they would call black people that. Yes, that's right. So this is like 60s and 70s talk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I find, oh, that's fucked. I wouldn't say that shit. I wouldn't want to use it in that context at all. But it's become so Australianized, just the word wog. Yeah. It's just easy for us to say wogs, basically Europeans that have come here. We all know each other from... You know, Turkish people are mm. wogs and yeah, true, yeah, Lebos and the Turks, yeah, everyone, Persians. We're all we're all just wogs. Uh -huh. Not Anglo. There's Anglo's, yeah, which is white the whites, people. The whites, the yeah. And then, like a South African wouldn't be known as a wog, very much. No, the Africans you wouldn't nah, call wog here. Yeah, no. that's true. Middle Eastern, yeah. European, European, but like from Italy on. Yeah, Italy on yeah. East, yeah. Because even the Balkans, they're they're not really wogs either. Like wogs some of the for sure. Oh, they are wogs. Yeah, yeah. Even oh, well, Slovenia and all of that. Even Slovenia, Slovakia, yeah, all, all those people. Yeah, do you call them wogs? Even Serbs and Croats. Hundred percent. Oh, wogs. interesting. Hundred percent. Anyone with a like a box head, um, <laughs> you know, like thongs a lot with yeah. socks on. Yeah. Um, usually works by hand. Right. A lot of them yeah. by hand. Yeah. They paid their house off within five years. Yeah. Breakfast. The typical breakfast is tomato. Typical those feta cheese and some kind of bread. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. The kids usually get married in their 20s. Like yeah. Yeah. Religious. There's a religious, icon. That's true. Yeah. Somewhere in some, the house. Some Jesus or somewhere. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> that's a walk. Yeah. That's funny. Did you, so what, how did you grow up? And like, what kind of mm. friends did you have? Well, as I said, first was wogs. And that was kind of, to be honest, man, like I had a lot more fun with the Aussie guys. Oh, because you were yeah. in that in the formative years, you were yeah. more with them. Yeah. I had a, a lot of fun with Aussies, man. Um, my wog mates were f hilarious, so really, really funny, teasing each other and all of that stuff was really, really funny. I suppose that's where they, the kind of the concept of comedy came from, just ripping into each other. I don't know yeah. if you guys did that mm -hmm, all the time. Yeah, so it's it's great, man. It's like it's like a game of tennis, man. You're mm. wondering what funny shit you could get me on and. Yeah. Yes, because well, otherwise, what are we going to do? Bat each other off? Like, you're not going to. We're not yeah, doing that. It's gay, it's otherwise. It's gay. You know? yeah, it is gay. I've seen some young people now, they're probably healthier minded than me, but <laughs> the Gen Z, they sit around to compliment each other all day. I know, it's like, wild. What is that? That would never happen in my circles. Never going to. You get shit on. All right, you go, oh man, nice, nice shoes. Like, every right, now that's and it. Then. Yeah. That's it. I'm not going to say, man, I've really enjoyed what you've been doing online. Like, yeah, I'll be like, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at him yeah, exactly <laughs> look at him bro look yeah. at him bro you're looking at look at these cars what are you talking about cars <laughs> exactly you got the <laughs> fucking tone perfectly yeah the spanian that's i call it the spanian we, we yeah we yeah spanian's hilarious bro <laughs> people when i when spanian came out came out like a couple years after me they were saying hey is vlad your dad Oh, I'm really? Like, hey, he's, he's I think he's older than me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how, how old are you? Yeah, you're 41? 41, yeah. You're 41. I think he's younger than you. He he's, might be like I think he's like 30 something. something, yeah. Yeah, he's not far off. No, he's not, yeah. But he, yeah, I love his, I love Spanians. It's hilarious, man. I love his stuff. Yeah. I, I've, have you watched any of his interviews or any, anything about like what he, what his life story is yes. and everything? Earlier on, yeah. yeah absolutely. It's interesting stuff. Man. I like that he's, he's, he's evolving as his character yeah. comes out and all. At the start, he was talking about how to jump over railings onto a balcony yeah. and bash someone and get the computer. But I didn't like, I was like, what? I know. And but now he talks. He's got some good shit. I yeah, he's talking about him, real man. shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I just more so love when he's eating food and he's like, "Bro, this is hectic, yeah. <laughs> hectic, he's, hectic." He's very funny, man. <laughs> he's a. Fun, I've always Adelaide. wanted to talk to him because he's so funny. Yeah, uh, he knows he's hilarious, but yeah. you could do so much comedy with that guy. So much comedy, and he and he keeps the serious tip. Like it's he crazy. needs, he could get so many laughs. I man. know. That's why. That's why I was like. While I was here, because I did a couple of impressions of him in my stories, and he actually liked them. Yeah, oh, good. Uh, he likes every single one. So obviously, he's he's you he, know, knows, he, probably, yeah. he probably laughs at it, or maybe he just enjoys it. Um, but but he's definitely aware. But I was like, man, I want to see if I can reach out to him, maybe collab. But apparently, he doesn't collab with anyone, and uh, not much. You know, he just yeah. does his thing, which I get. But man, he he could crush. Yeah, doing God, comedy he's stuff. Very very funny. He's like unintentionally funny. I don't know about stand up. No, not stand up, but, but more of like sketch. acting or like sketches. Yeah, if like For having sure. him in a sketch would be hilarious. Yeah. 
For sure. So man. funny. It's such a it's such a unique character. Yes. Yeah. And he looks like Saget from fucking Street Fighter 2 as well. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. So um Imaginary, yeah. yeah, nah, he's he's iconic, man. Yeah, I, I really like his stuff as well, yeah. man. And he and he says it how he like he says he and he's not very apologetic about anything, no. which is kind of cool. No, you'd, he's not. You'd expect that after a dozen years in jail, bro. I know, yeah. Well, I mean, it shows how how strong you you can <laughs> you can become even after that. Yeah, and like cars, yeah, and like cars. You have, have you seen any of these um, the hat wearing Adlays around? What's, There's not what's that, that many. Don't, uh, you don't know what an Adlay is? What's, a what lad. is Adlay? Huh? Lad. Oh, it's just pig Latin or whatever. Yeah. And then so Adlai means lad. Oh right, lad, yeah, lad. Okay, and right. lads are the guys that wear like polo. Um, oh, like more posh. Tommy heel figure, like the bent hats, the the puffy jackets, oh. smoking ciggies. You don't know these guys? No. So is that is it more 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 sophisticated? Eshes they call them. Oh, the eshes. Yeah. Oh, that's what they are. Yeah. yeah okay. Eshes is is another word, but lads is the original word. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a lad. It's uh. a British thing. Yeah. Yeah. I know. You know, walk yeah, around yeah. the street, tagging, graffiti, oh. smoking cigarettes, smoking ice. So that's what eshes are. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Eshes. I've heard of eshes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hilarious. They've got like they never wear socks and they've always got Nike Airs on. So yeah. random. Yeah. They they are rare. but that's what Spanian is. So Spanian is an eshe. Oh, so he... He's a total Eshe, and that's why he's always Adlai lad. Oh. He says lad at the end of everything. He does, yeah. That's, he's a full Eshe. So wait, what, what's the, what is the what definition of Eshe? Eshe is like a, like, a, like a street kind of culture that is quite Australian and maybe English, where they wear stuff like Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Nordica, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. They're big into the graffiti culture. They like scooters, <laughs> not much skateboarding, scootering and stuff like mm. that. They love smoking ciggies. Oh, yeah. They love Fucking dark. Fucking durries is their thing, durries. man. Hanging around train stations, yeah. Yeah. the bum bag, yep. uh, maybe a knife in there, oh, in sure. the bum bag, yeah, um, a, a knife. They've got all tagging. They're little troublemakers sometimes. Uh, okay. Um, well, you know, I haven't met many airshays that are like, you know, got a doctorate in anything. No. But is there's a lot of that street kind okay. of thing. Interesting. So it's kind of like, mm. it's just, just like a just little like gang style of gang or, yeah. or something. Yeah, okay. So they're just, I mean, is is it mostly just it's like a the street kids, thing. like teenagers? Yeah. So but then you see some lads, yeah. airshays into yeah. their 30s and 40s, it's, it's quite hard to watch. Oh, okay. I, was, yeah. I, mean, I see what you mean. They're just stuck in that world. It's like Luke Heggie said, tip of the hat to one of the funniest. Luke Heggie was like, if you see a guy in his on jeans with jeans on riding a BMX in his 40s, you got to at that point just accept that life didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. You know? <laughs> I think I've seen him do that joke. I did a show with him one it's time. It's very fucking funny. Yeah. Because yeah. like, yeah, you know, you see me on a I BMX know. now, you'd be oh, like, yeah. Some, w- w- is something's he okay? wrong with that guy. Yeah, something wrong with him. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Look at him. That's what you can say. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, cars. Yeah. Yeah, well, here's another one. Ready? Yeah. You're on the footpath and the guy comes past you with the bike but doesn't ring a bell and nearly hits you, hits your elbow. Yeah. You go, Look at him. Ah, uh, yeah. There I like that. Yeah. yeah, I was on I was on the train yesterday actually, and this fucking white kid, mm. scrawny little white kid wearing mm. a big blazer jacket. What that swooshy like, stuff? Yeah, swishy puffer jacket with a, a, a uh, fucking chain and something, whatever. Mm. Uh, some weird jeans um, and whatever, Nike Air Force, whatever you talk about. Yeah, uh, the Nike TNs. Air. The TNs. 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 Yeah, that's a lad. Yeah, the, 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 the Adlai yeah, shoes. Adlai. Um, with a, what's it called? A fanny pack? Like a. Oh, okay. I, there's nothing more that I hate than I those <laughs> things, man. This guy, I'm sitting here, I'm going like four stops. In the ho- entire time until I got to my stop, this guy kept running back and forth uh. into the different cars of, of the train. Uh. Just like he's like walking, he's like he's like all cool, he's trying to be cool, like he's just like trying past. to be cool or trying to be aggressive, like a little bit of both. Like but he's a scrawny little kid. I'm like, but if this guy comes up to me, I'm gonna fucking yeah, drop trample him, him. drop him. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna RKO his ass, just people's yeah. elbow. Just fuck yeah. it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sit on him. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm three times the size. But anyway, yeah. he, was, he was just like, try, I feel like it's kind of an intimidation factor. Yeah, there is. That, yeah. Because, you know, he's just a kid and he's like, he's trying to act yeah. all big and cool. For sure. Because like, you know, he's like, oh yeah, more trouble. He's trying to look for trouble, right? He's yeah. walking back and forth. He's like, 
when he there's stairs, mm. he would jump and like land he, like uh, h- very oh, hard yeah, on yeah, the ground yeah. to like startle people. Just the inti- intimidation yeah. factor. And then another guy would come, same outfit. Yes. <laughs> same haircut, same slim eyebrows. They're not, eyebrows, doing, a, they're not doing like a TikTok, TikTok video or something, these blokes, are they? No, no. They're just like they're just like hooligans. Like, they're just like fucking, street urchins. They're street urchins, yeah. 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 They're yeah. just like going back and forth, looking for trouble, whatever. And then when I got yeah. off, they yeah. got off the same station. I saw the people they were with. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, these guys are just Eshes. Like, yeah, just, the Eshes, yeah. They're just like, they, they just... They're just kids that yeah, are... Yeah, they're kids, man. Yeah, they're they're mostly fu- harmless, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Unless you, you try to say but something yeah, to them. Even but then, you could probably... You can still like, take them. Yeah, you can <laughs> take them out if you want. But if they have a knife, then it's not worth it. You no, know, fuck that. You don't want to fucking risk that, but... Um, man, but a lot of them come from like harder upbringings and stuff like that. And then you can go, all right, so they found themselves a little bunch of people to yeah, hang exactly, out that yeah. understand them. Sure, I, get I totally it. get that. I get it, yeah. So. I mean, I... I, I that's not how I grew up, but no. I can see how people can get there. Like if you're a wog, you're not an air shape. No, like, you would never be. Yeah, yeah. because you have you like, you know better. Your family, your family you usually, better. yeah, that will be your like cousins. What are you doing? Yeah. Give me my hat back. Yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to wear that. That's yeah. my golf hat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you'll slap, slap the shit out of you. Face, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Go go cut the grass. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. Pick up <laughs> pick up the leaves. Pick up the leaves. Yeah. Get yeah. the ladder. Bring it from the garage. Exactly. Bring it upstairs. Absolutely. Let's go hang some frames. The thing but that, that's just how it was. But how, how how did your parents discipline you growing up? I got smacked, bro. I got smacked. So they my when I was young, my dad would hit me like boom. Oh wow, with, actual with, smack. With, yeah, I got smashed, bro. In the like, face? Uh, not in the face, like on the ass and the legs. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I've had I've had um like from a tree, a, yeah, like a branch, this branch. Yeah, whip. You know, on the whip, on the yeah, legs. Yeah, yeah. I've had the belt mm. several times. Mm-hmm. Never the face and the head, okay. but like the bum. Yeah, Bum and that's the legs. A classic. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it, it, <laughs> yeah that's mean, normal. Yeah, that's. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, fucking comedy for a reason, bro. Um, yeah, but I don't think like my missus goes. Oh, but that's so abusive. I'm like, no, bro. But isn't she masso too? I would be so fucked, man, if I wasn't pulled into line. Like I was oh, a yeah. You'd be naughty feminine. little shit. You'd be trans. Yeah, I'd be trans. Uh. I'd be Vlad <laughs> Vladka. <laughs> I'm Vladka now. Vladichka. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Vla- <laughs> Vladichka in Macedonian means the head of the church. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's <laughs> like the one, the the bishop. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the, 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 that's a Russian. Sounds Russian though. It is. It's man. very Vla- Russian. Vladika, right? Vladichka. Vladichka. Yeah. Is that actual word? Yeah. Vladichka. Yeah. In Russian. Vladichka, yeah, I think so. Oh, Vladichka, okay. Vladika. Because I know, because um, I know in uh, in the Balkans, like Serbians and Croatians, like because uh, uh, I, I grew up with those people too. Um, like my name is Nima, but they, they would call me Nimic, like Nim- the Serbs and like Nimic, N- like Nimic, like they add itch at the end. Like, okay, it's very Nimic, Serbian. Gotcha, yeah. like, Nimic, Nimic, right? But then Russians would be a Nimicka. Nimicka, yeah, yeah, it's like a like a cute thing to put. Yeah, it's just like yeah. a little thing, and then and, and then uh, Greeks Nimaki. <laughs> Nimaki, yeah, because yeah, they. So they, your name is Nima. Nima, yeah. I've never heard that name. It's a Persian name. Yeah, yeah it's right. unisex actually. It's uh, with the E E, N E E M A. That's the right. That's the best way to spell that shit. Yeah. But <laughs> but if anyone's watching or listening, um, any Persians would know that the way I spell my name is actually unique. It's it's usually N I M A. That's what I would think. People yeah. would always spell N I M A, but yeah. mine was spelled two E's. Yeah, yeah. Or two so E's. everyone's always like everyone, even online. When it's people cool. comment on my videos, mm. they write my name, they write N I M A. I'm like, yeah. bro, my name's right there. Yeah. Because they're so mean. used to Nima yeah. being spelled with an I. Yes. Uh, but yeah. But yeah, it's like in, in our culture, we don't use the PH for like Raphael, we use R A F. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that makes sense. The but English thing is quite PH. Stephanie is S T E F A N I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that how sense. it is. So yeah. Nima, I would expect it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so man, um, discipline, bro. Like my dad was not a, a, a an abusive guy at all. He's like still he's on my one of my best mates. But when you're misbehaving and words didn't work for fucking hours, <laughs> then he'd be like, you know, you smacked. Boom! What are you doing? Wait! Yeah. And then and then all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm behaving. Yeah! Wow. Oh, I'm fucking the nicest kid on earth, yeah. and I respect my parents yeah, again. Yeah, I know. It's like all of us. This the thing. Like I try to teach my missus. She's a woman. She doesn't understand this side. I think. Right? Because she never got hit. Yeah, she never got uh, hit. But she's, she's pampered. a girl, bro. She's pampered. Yeah. So pampered. That's bro. true. So, but I've seen her once. Like. 
give my son a little slap on the bum. She felt bad. I was like, <laughs> look, he's young, just not hard. Yeah, like, a little bit. He he just always. Man, if a cop didn't have a gun or a baton, <laughs> like the lads are gonna bash you on the train, that's right. for sure. Like hundred percent. You gotta have some you I, gotta have I'm some. a believer that if words are not working for fucking extended amounts of time, you've got to be able to fucking pull someone in line somehow. Definitely. I don't understand why that's weird. I don't understand why I have to justify it in twenty twenty four, bro. Well, I mean, everyone's so sensitive. They, yeah, they but can't even everyone touch that's talking like this has no kids. They've got cavoodles, bro. The what? They've got cavoodles. What the fuck's cavoodles? A fucking blended dog. A oh, poodle. the dog. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's or cats. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like That's you, so true. You throw a dart out this window, you're going to hit a cavoodle. Oh, yeah. In for this sure. area. There's so many. And then those people are going to be like, oh, how dare you discipline your son? You're like, because I you don't, don't want him. kid. I don't want him to bash you in 20 years yeah, on the train. Exactly. That's why. Yeah, it's, so, it's for you. For you. Yeah. You fucking yeah. sensitive <laughs> trans. <laughs> Is your brother sun tanning? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, I could just see you like see just it? the side of his of his abdomen. Oh, yeah, yeah. We all, it's a perfect spot out there for, so at, at this hour. The sun's hitting perfectly on the sunbed, so we just use a. It is very really nice. You know, in the nineties, Huberman didn't have to tell us to go into sun. My grandparents did that shit every day. Oh man, that's what I'm saying. They're the OG Huberman. Yeah, yeah. They're the OG Huberman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my parents too. My friend, my dad yeah. is a king, bro. Yeah. When it's sunny out. Always outside on the grass Single. on a lawn chair, just like this. Yeah, right. Yeah. Having a book, have a book, have a little yeah. the, the thing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah the, ever, the prayer beads. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, of yeah. Course. Oh, except we, my dad was he's not religious, but it was um, it's another thing. It's just like a I think what it was called, but but same thing, same, same essentially thing. the same thing. They just play with the beads. Sounds like but the fidget spinner for the wogs. Pretty much, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> It's like all day, just out there, just soaking in the sun. Yeah. They're, they're the OG Huberman. They are the, the OG Huberman. Hubermans. Yeah. But. Yeah, good. It's, time, always, so. it's always good, man. So uh, how long have you been doing comedy? Um, Stand up? Just in general. Like just in, the comedy in general, uh, say five years. Oh, so you're, you're pretty new. Yeah. Yeah. I'm new, yeah. And um, it's so funny, man, because I don't meet many comedians or entertainers in Australia, like I haven't met, yeah, because there, there's not that many to be honest. Yeah. Like compared to back home, I have plenty, plenty of access to people, right? But over here, I I haven't been able to really connect with much because it's been so hard meeting up with people. Yeah, um, Why? because a lot of people just don't take it seriously. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And and in a, in, a, in a way, it kind of it takes the fun out of it for me as well because yeah. I like to be more productive and get shit done. Um, that's the wog in you. It's so, well, yeah, for sure, but it's also the North America. Yeah, because yeah, true, over true. there the hustle is way more than here, right? Yeah, so it's a bit of both. It's the immigrant drive from my parents. And what, how many people in Canada? Uh, I think it's like thirty-three million right now, in the whole of Canada. Mm. So you guys are small like us. Yeah, but it's the land is massive. Massive. Just like here, yeah. Oh, but no, man, you guys I, are like twenty-seven million or yeah, something. Yeah, right? I thought yeah. you guys had like. 50 mil or no, more. No, not even close. No, it's 33 million. Oh, wow. So but it's not as mental as the States. It's, in bro, it's 300 and something million in, in the US. That is out of control. In a much dude. tighter space. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy, insane. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy, yeah. But half of Canada is not even not inhabitable. It's just land. Yeah. yeah or like, like Australia. But also, yeah, exactly. Uh, it, but except it's it's uh, here it's hot as fuck. There it's cold as fuck in the place that- Do you prefer no this lives. weather or there? 100% here. 100%. This is sick, eh? It's so good, man. Yeah, it is good. I, I'm so jealous. Yeah, it is I hate, good. I love, I'm excited to go back home, but I hate yeah. that I have to leave this weather. Well, this this particular day that we're, it's, it's like picture beautiful. perfect. It's beautiful. That's why you're tanning right Go for a run, now. dude. It's I ran this morning. Good. It's so It was beautiful. Good. How He's is tanning, bro. This is perfect. How's your ankle? You didn't break uh, it. No, it's much, it's much better, yeah. You just tweaked it, huh? Uh, yeah, the, when the first time I ran? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't the first time, but... Whenever we were talking last time... It was in May. I was in Sydney, actually. Uh, when I came to Sydney the first time, oh. my ankle was fucked the entire week. Was that in May? It was May. Oh, my God, bro. Where's yeah, the time, time flies. <laughs> but, yeah, you know why I fucked up my ankle by running? Mm. is because I neglected the stretch stretching part. I never stretched never before or I. after. Never. It was the, it was the biggest mistake I ever made. No, you see... That I learned my lesson the hard way because ever since I learned that stretching is the key to avoid injuries. Yeah, I didn't take it seriously at first. I was like, Nah, I'm yeah. good, man. Like I, I work out every day. Like I move around. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine. Yeah. And then I fucked my ankle. Right now I'm running like 
three times longer. Yeah, right. Faster. I have no pain afterwards because I stretched for 15 minutes before. Oh, what? And every every aspect. I roll my ankles, my calves, my Achilles, my knees, my you thighs. Roll my them or you just stretch? I stretch. I stretch. I do dynamic stretches. I do like static stretching, everything. So um, when you go out, you're, you're like warmed I'm like, up. I'm warmed. I'm nice. I'm like, I'm loose. I like that feeling. It's perfect, right? Yeah. You know, it's still I tough like because, feeling. you know, I'm still a little bit heavy and yeah, it's a yeah. little bit hard on my... But when I'm, as soon as I'm done, like I, like, I feel like I didn't even run today because you've, I stretch after. You've lost some weight, but... Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you haven't seen me in person before, but... No. Um, I've, I've known online, you for though. about two years, maybe online. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely changed from last year. I think so, yeah. I, I, even last year, yeah. But yeah, two years yeah. ago, even more. I yeah. think one of the first videos I ever saw of you was you imitating Goggins. Oh, yeah, fuck. That yeah. was a long time ago. And that, that was like you two were years ago. Obviously that was, I wrote my shirt off? Yeah. Yeah, I was massive at the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah. when I was like, oh. Because you d actually don't look that massive in your face. I know. <laughs> you have like a that. slim face. I know, I know. Yeah. It's embarrassing. But you've 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 lost weight. Yeah, my my but now my body's starting to like actually shrink and match my face more. Yeah. It's good. But it's still big. I'm still big and I realized man in all the years of neglect on my body because mm. uh, I'm almost, I'm 29 I'm turning 30 in a few months. Yeah. Um like it's been a few years now, three years pretty much that I've been actually working on my fitness and my body. Yeah, I'm still only here. Yeah, but I realize the same amount of time it takes you to get sick. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get better. Yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, don't, don't rush it. No, it's a lifestyle, yeah. right? It's like I'm it's totally. Now, so yeah. I started training around that age too. Yeah, your age maybe. It's it's never too late. No, um, I and used to it just can only help. Yeah, oh, man, I still got bad habits, but. Like what? I, oh, I don't know. Like I drink alcohol. Oh yeah. Well, I, I mean, you're European, alcohol. bro. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink a lot, but like last night I had one shot of rakia and a beer. Like so, when I'm bro. cooking yeah. at home, my kids might be like playing in the yard or whatever. Yeah. I was making lasagna last night, and there's all this prepping. Yeah. To crack the cold can of beer, it's yeah. like the it's best the thing. Spot. Yeah, it's man. Spot. Yeah. I went for a swim. Like I did yeah. some laps. So. Like, if I run, if I go for a 10K run or 5K run, and I have a shower, I go to the kitchen to cook, I'm You're having a beer. A beer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's my lifestyle. I've I done mean, it without the beer. I can do it. Uh, but it's um, it's a bit... it's a bit. No, I've done, like, alcohol-free for oh, wow. months and months. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. When, I've, when I'm fit, I like to have two drinks. When I'm, when I'm not exercising... Uh drinks that they don't go down as good man no it doesn't hit the spot because you don't feel like you you earned it i've earned what for i, know, I, I know. feel like an alcoholic <laughs> yeah you know? exactly just but drink if i know when you're fit and you're working out and you're cooking and shit and you're, oh, it's, just a, it's just a little uh yeah a little just to something wet my whistle a little that's bit. that's it you listen to huberman he's like not even a sip is good for you i'm like fuck <laughs> you bro <laughs> he's just, perfect man he's perfect these cunts just making me guilty for everything I know, everything dude. that's the that's the downside of all the help you can get on from online from yeah. these these professors and yeah. these these people these scientists that, yeah. that you know are providing so much information. Yeah, it's good because you're learning so many new things and For sure. I've learned a lot from these guys. Yeah, but the downside is you know you know the information. That, yeah. That that about what's bad for you as well. You're awake to it. Now. You're way more awake, and so now you can't cheat yeah. yourself. No, that's you can't the, lie that's to what yourself. I'm angry about. That's I what think, I'm pissed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, at least yeah. you know, Bliss, blissful ignorance, bro. Yeah, it's way better. Yeah. Man. I mean, that's why you, people envy people who are just blissfully ignorant because yeah. they're like they're just happy in their own world. Like they have no idea what's going on. Oh, no, don't worry, man. That'll come out soon by Huberman. There'll be there'll be mark my words, bro. Like by the time he's fifty, by the time he's sixty, a deep study. I don't even know how he talks, has come out <laughs> that actually ignorance prolongs life. <laughs> and we've taken this over the course of 40 years of Eastern <laughs> Europeans. Yeah, yeah. That no matter what they did, they never paid it any attention and they focused on being happy, staying with the family. They outlived the people that were worrying about everything by 15 years. And people were like, oh, pass the Siggy, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fuck this, you yeah. know, like my grandpa and all of these people, they, they were blissfully ignorant to 100%. everything. Yeah. And I'm not saying that they're a picture of health, but, no, but they were way, they're less stressed than me way and my less. peers, bro. Yeah. I'm out here bombing on stages three times a night, worried about my <laughs> material. While, while, while Papu and Yaya are fucking crushing Legs Lukomadish, up. drinking tea and yes. fucking smoking darts. Who cares? 
Man, I said, to, I said to my grandpa like three, four years ago, I went for a run. I used to run when I'm stressed, right? Like if you're a bit stressed, it's go a good, run. It's a good, good idea. Yeah, yeah, it's mad like for you. And he was sitting, before he passed away, he's sitting in the garage and he had his legs up. He's just having a Heineken. It was like three o'clock in the afternoon. He wasn't like an Alco boozer. He was Alco. just like... An alco like an alcohol. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Your just eyes is fucking short and everything. Yeah, exactly. It's a fucking alco. You can't. can't even be bothered talking, uh, yeah. bro. Here, like, <laughs> let alone being productive. So annoying. Yeah. Well, I, remember, I heard one the other day. Someone was like, uh, "Oh, musician. Yeah, he's a he's a really great muso." I'm like, muso. what the fuck's a muso? Yeah, yeah. The musician. Yeah. Like, come on. Muso. <laughs> and he was like, I, he goes, "What are you doing?" I go, "I'm just gonna go for a, a run." He goes, "Oh, why?" It's, he goes, "It's very hot. Get a Heineken. Come sit down." <laughs> And I was like, nah, I'm, I'm a little bit under pressure. What is this before I started comedy or whatever? And he goes, all right, all right, go. So I went just 30 minutes and I come back. I was dripping, dude. So sweaty from the humidity. Yeah, humidity, yeah. And he's sitting there and I've got a towel on me and all of that. And he goes, how are you? How's the, how's the kids? Uh, I think I only had one child at that point. I was like, yeah, all good. And then I said to him, do you remember when you were like 35, like, and you're like building a house and you had the kids at home, you come back from work and, you know, how stressed were you like at that point in your life? You know, your kids are young, you're trying to get some money and all of that, you know. Were you stressed like as well, like that? And I'm looking for him to give me some advice. Yeah. And he goes like this, he goes, no. <laughs> they did no, no stress, why? And I go, <laughs> I don't know. My wife wants me to pick up some eggs on the way home. Like, I hate my job. Like you know, my my daughter is she's she's got diarrhea at the yeah, moment. Yeah, screaming. Yeah, he's like, no, this is the best time of my life. He goes, I used to go to work, come home, say hi to your grandmother, say hi to the kids, get the lawnmower out, open a beer, mow the lawn, sit down, have a fucking stew. What us wogs eat? Potato stews yeah, and potatoes. stuff. <laughs> And um and lift my legs up and watch Oprah Winfrey at night time. Like, what do you want me to say? It was the best time of my life. And I'm like, fuck. So I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Huberman, yeah, damn yeah, you. Fuck you, man. <laughs> He's just making money off us, you know? <laughs> and that whole perception changed. It shifted my perception in the way I was looking at the world. I went home, I told my missus, like, I'm doing it wrong, man. This is the best time of my life. What am I fucking stressing out about work or real estate or... Nah, man. Fuck that. Like, it's going to get worse as I get older. Like, your knee goes, you get sick, your wife dies. Like, shit happens. Now I'm stressing out. It's like the best time of my life. You know, you're having the best time of your life now. Bombing on stage every night. It's amazing. It's fucking amazing, Yeah, bro. just drained and then the night coming home at 11, <laughs> having to eat chicken breast <laughs> by myself, <laughs> single. <laughs> Watching YouTube videos of other people eating food, getting millions of views while oh I'm fucking God. struggling. <laughs> that's, a, that's horrible to hear in that light. Like, but I, I get it. I get it. I, I'm so grateful to be doing that and not yeah. have to do anything else. Well, you could be a painter in Toronto now doing some cunt ceiling. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Just going, I got a pinched nerve in my leg. I can't feel my yeah, pinky. Exactly. I, I can't feel the pinky. Yeah. I'm going to drop this fucking. <laughs> Bro, I could be literally lifting bricks <laughs> in 30 degree weather yeah. for eight hours straight. Yeah, man. I have nothing to worry about. I'm worried about how efficient I can run for 45 minutes. That's right, man. Like, yeah. I should be, you should be enjoying it, you know? And, yeah. And I have, I, honestly, that perspective, what you're saying with uh, your grandfather? Yeah, grandpa, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it makes sense. I'm, I actually, it's funny, but it, it also is real and it, it resonates heavily. There's wisdom in it, man. Like so much wisdom. There's nothing in this in our like our generation, but like our gen and Gen Z and all of that. Wisdom is like it. Uh, wisdom takes years to get. You know, even my dad hasn't got the wisdom that much yet. Like he'll get it in his seventies, and she, he's still kind How of young. Sixty six, sixty five. That's pretty. Yeah, it's like oh, he's gonna like you get wisdom like later. Greg, like 75, 80, your, your body fails you. <laughs> yeah, and then the wisdom comes. Your wisdom comes. <laughs> you, you can't fucking do anything you yeah, want, yeah. so you just you just sit there and think, <laughs> what's life about? Yeah. <laughs> I, I suppose like that, but... Yeah, yeah. The wisdom, man, like when I, when I hear shit like that, that my grandpa said, I suppose, bro, like with our phones, comparison is the, 
thief of, thief of joy. joy. Yeah. It's so easy to just look at that shit and then just go, oh man, why has my video got mm. 5,000 Oh my views? God, this is so, so relatable. You know, instead of this dropkick got two and a half million views for shooting a basketball from halfway. What's going on? Yeah, you know. Or, or literally fucking, I don't know, some, some girl going through a drive-thru. The best video you've done is that one for, in my opinion, the one where you're the influencer girl talking about OnlyFans. That's got to be the funniest shit. When I saw... <laughs> that one's, that one's that one of my favorites. That is so fucking funny, dude. Yeah. I've, and it was, I was spewing you had done it because I was trying to write one. Oh, yeah. I don't do character <laughs> stuff. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I was going was gonna to do that. Okay, I should get a wig. Yeah. I should be like this glorified whore, you know, yeah, in yeah. this video. Of course. And it was fucking was great. When I saw it, I was like, that's so good, man. <laughs> that was one take at the Brilliant. end of a filming session I did. <laughs> like, but I didn't even have the idea. Yes, girl. At yeah, the yeah. I, the, why, that I added after, yeah, obviously. But yeah, the, yeah, I was just like, um, you know, when you film, I don't know if that, this happens to you, but every time mm. I film for like an hour or two or whatever, mm. and I'm done, that's when usually the creative juices come out the most. Oh, right. Because I'm, I'm already like in it. And then that's uh, yeah. when, like, I was like, I, I did a video of Bianca, my character, uh, just before that video that you're talking about. Uh, it was a different idea. And I finished, and I was like, I was already in the outfit, and I yeah. was with my friend who was helping me film. And we were just talking about OnlyFans for some reason. It was yeah. Something came up, and I was like, oh, man, what if I just, like, should I just do, like, a parody of these girls who just talk about Only uh, OnlyFans and make it profound and yeah. add the music at the end of it? Right. I just did it. And I was like, I don't know. I just improvised. Yeah, I love it. And then it fucking blew up. Eight yeah. million views. I'm That's like, great. You know, it gave me, f- uh, I think like forty thousand new followers. And unbelievable. Week. It was nuts. The other day, I did a sketch with Sushi Mango, and it's the first video I've ever had to have over a million views that I've been in. Oh yeah. Like, well, they have such a high reach. Same massive, with me with them. Yeah. Massive. So yeah. I think it got to one and a half mil. Yeah. And, but I only maybe got maybe a. Thousand or two thousand fold, not even. That's still pretty good, man. It's pretty, good. pretty good. Like, yeah. When you're not the original, because I only post. get like a hundred thousand on my videos, nice. one between one and two, two hundred thousand yeah, yeah. views. Like that's pretty just, good, man. That's pretty good still. Um, I don't know about the metrics, man. I I judge it. My channel and shout out to the Vladiators that are listening to Vladiator, this. That's nice. Right, yeah. they'll they'll have a listen to this pod for sure. But they're so fucking awesome, man. They're so um. Loyal. Mm, that's it. From from there's a lot that unfollow. You know, when you look at your page uh. and you go, I got a thousand follows this week and four hundred unfollowed. Like, oh, story constant, of my life, dude. Constantly, bro. dude. This week I had I looked at one actually yesterday. Yeah. Uh, I had uh, seven thousand in the last month. Yeah, month, yeah. Forty five hundred unfollow. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like bro, where are you guys going? It is like that, bro. It's weird. It's and it's so easy weird. to unfollow. You know, it's super easy to follow and unfollow. It's harder to unfollow. You just press the dots and just unfollow this. No, account. you have to press the thing and then you have to click the next button and then it unfollows. But follow, ah. you can just press follow. Follow is quicker. It's easier. Yeah. Yeah, so right. Well, don't that, be a that cunt. works. Stay following. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> follow Neiman has on Instagram. It's <laughs> funny because, like, the people watching this are obviously here because of me. Yeah, so yeah. I don't right. need to follow say my that. cousin Vlad yeah. on, the, on TikTok. <laughs> Fuck TikTok, yeah, yeah, but yeah. follow on Instagram. Yeah. I haven't made a single fucking dollar off TikTok, bro. No, me neither. Yeah. What a waste of time. <laughs> but Instagram is great because you can sell tickets. And yeah, well, like both that. are good for that reason of selling to live shows. That's the whole but reason. How on TikTok? You put a thing out, hey, man, I'm doing a tour. Right. 1,200 people see it. I know. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's it's like you, it's pay. The, you, could, you have to run ads. Yeah, yeah, that's I've the run ads before, part, but I don't know. You have to be creative with it. Obviously, you know, if you find a funny uh, skit and then you put it at the end. Yeah, it's, it's how, possible. how many people you got on there? Um, I'm, I recently just hit six fifty thousand. That's huge, bro. This past week has been really good for me. I did a video with Omid Jalili. He's this um, really iconic comedian from UK. Oh, um, he's also Iranian, and um, he's like oh, a cool. legend in our community. From like when I was a kid, he I looked up to him. Uh, I finally got to meet him and, and work with him. Yeah. In here, yeah. Sydney and Melbourne, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, he's oh. touring or something. Yeah, he's touring, yeah. Uh, I did his show at Enmore. Oh, cool. Yeah. You open for him? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you met Fadi Kassab? Yeah, he was on the show too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fadi's, yeah. Fadi's dope. And yeah, he was yeah. on my pod actually last week. He's very funny, man. He's amazing, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I did a video with Omid Jali. Uh, it was a very simple idea I had. It was uh, the day before I, we met up, I thought of it. It was pretty much, and I think any immigrants can relate to this, where 
you know, Persian dads or Persian parents, mm. um, they'll just like state the obvious. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the video I posted with him, but it was literally. Yes, I did. Right? Um, like I just saw it yesterday. Is it the one where. Yeah, yeah, he's saying something. Well, I'm I'm doing something, and then he comes he's and says it. what I'm doing. It's very funny. Yeah, I'm like it's so so simple, but it's because so you don't relatable. react, which is funny. Yeah, yeah I, that's yeah. what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So, well, you're eating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the last one was my favorite. He's like, "Are you shit? Are you shitting?" And yeah. I'm like on the toilet, and like obviously, <laughs> but that's just how it is, right? That's how I grew up, and I feel like a lot, of, and that's, that's when I realized funny. so many different immigrant cultures of people were like, "Oh, it's like my Polish dad." Oh, it's like my Mexican mom, or you know what I'm saying? Like we don't state the obvious. Who? The masses and the Serbs and stuff. You that guys want like to do if, that? If you guys are, if you're eating, we'll walk in, we'll say, what are you eating? But it's very oh. it's very rare that we're like, you're eating? Oh, oh, you're eating. Yeah, that's, yeah, it happens oh, to me all the time. You're recording. Right. Nah, nah. They would, really? Not that much. Interesting. No, not that much. Well, yeah, I guess it's, yeah, it depends on which cultures, but yeah, I mean, um, so anyway, that video did so well, it, it that, because I was stuck at like six forty five thousand yeah. for like a year. Yeah. Oh wow. This one finally picked up. I got like it's at seven hundred thousand. It's weird, bro. He and just all stuck of a on that number. Up. Yeah. Bro, Dude, it, it I didn't go on TikTok time. ever, and um, I didn't like the pr the platform because I'm a boomer now. So I was like, "Fuck this!" And then my mate from the UK was like, "Dude, just put your videos up." I was like, nah, man, I don't like, I, I went on there, I put one video up, I got 600 views, and he goes, it's your first video, man, just put up, how many followers do you have, I got like an 80, or something like that, he goes, just put up a video every day, you've got them in your phone, mm -hmm. from 2019, just put them up, I was like, alright, so I just started putting one up every day, and uh, I didn't open TikTok, I just put one up for about three weeks, I think. And the followers went up to like 350 or something, mm. 400. And um, then I forgot about it. I went on holiday and came back and I was at 10,000 followers. Oh, wow. Yeah, in Sick. a week. And I went, what the hell? And then everyone's sharing this shit. Nice. So then I started putting up more and went up to like 20 the next week. Oh, wow. And I was like, this is a lot of followers, 20,000 in like two weeks. And then I got up to, I think, 30. And then it just stopped. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. And I was like putting better shit up and getting 20,000 views. Yeah. And you look back from three months ago, they were getting 50, 60, 70. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was like this, that's why I'm a conspiracy theorist. I'm like, these motherfuckers spun my account <laughs> on the For You page. Yeah. Until I'm addicted yeah, for a yeah. month. Yeah. And then I was like, ah, I can't have the cigarette anymore. You're just like yeah. watching me from no here. Problem. Don't worry. Yeah. And you're like, you fuck need, yourself. I need it. Yeah, I know. It's a drug. Dude. But Insta, drug. Insta, I haven't had that issue with. Yeah. So with Insta, whatever I'm posting, it correlates to how good the video is. But I always get a decent amount of eyes on it. You know, I don't mm. really get 10,000 views and then 200,000. No, no. It's yeah, always in that average, yeah. roughly, you know. The mm. better ones go much better. Of course, of course. Yeah, that's true, man. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, it's Instagram funny. is much better for showing the the, the, the I think the so. videos. But yeah, you you um the videos you did with Sushi Mango. That's interesting. How, how, how did you yeah. meet them? They man, they came to my first ever stand up show in Melbourne. Oh, okay. The three boys. So they were fans of yours. Yeah. Oh wow. So when I started, I think twenty twenty. I put up an advert that I was going to go to Melbourne uh, to do a show and I met an Italian guy and he goes, hey man, can I, can I promote this tour for you? I was like, I don't even know what to do, man. He goes, just come and do a one hour stand-up show. Oh. I was like, I've, ne I've never done stand-up, oh, bro. Oh shit. Yeah, man. One hour? One hour. Yeah. Wow. So he goes, oh, I've got a venue for you in Melbourne called the Lithuanian Club. It fits 300 people. Do you reckon we could sell 300? I was like... Man, I had like 10,000 followers. Oh, okay. I go, yeah, I hopefully. So I put on my post, should I should I do a tour? Would anyone come in Melbourne? And I got a lot of response. So about the next week, I put the tickets on sale and they sold in the first day. Like oh, wow. In like by 5 p.m. in Yavo. Wow. Yeah. And I was going overseas. That's I remember. wild. Called me, he goes, dude, we've got to put a number two on, another show on. I was like, okay. So he goes, oh, I've got the venue for the next day. So he put the tickets on sale two days later, and that sold out in a day as well. What? It's crazy, bro. And I was like, what the fuck, bro? I've got two sold out shows in Melbourne. And then Sydney sold out. Double the amount of people. It sold out in a week. What? 
Yeah, so it was wild. That's and, crazy. and the sushi manga guys saw my page during that week oh. and followed me. And um, I think Joe or one of them must have said, oh, funny cunt or something <laughs> or whatever. So I DM'd him. I was like, hey, man, I like what you guys are doing. You're very funny. And can I give you tickets to my first show? Oh, nice. And I was like, yeah, we will be there. So I gave him tickets. Nice. And um, I finished my first show and I went backstage. I was very overwhelmed. And I went back backstage and like cracked the beer open and my sister who's the a stage manager does my screen show mm. she was like the sushi mango guys are here they want to see you i was like oh i didn't even notice them in mm. the crowd you know when you're like a bit nervous you just focus no. on the material yeah, yeah, of course and um anyway they came backstage and uh we we had a bit of a chat and nice to meet you boys and they're very complimentary um and I ended up having five nights at that theater. What? Yeah. That's so, crazy. Yeah, the next weekend we sold it out again, Friday, Saturday, That's and amazing. then the weekend after. So it was fucking Damn, the amazing. people came and showed out. Just fucking showed out. So we don't never say showed out. We say showed up. Oh, showed up. Yeah. Uh, you say rocked up too. Rocked up. Yeah, he rocked up, yeah, mate. Yeah, they rocked up, mate. <laughs> Showed out. That's showed a, out. That's an American thing. Yeah, yeah. showed out. Yeah, something Puff Daddy would say. Puff Daddy. I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna show out. <laughs> that's pretty dope, man. And wait, what was yes. your show then? If you never did stand up, never did stand up. What was your show, man? Um, thankfully, I fucking I, I've been in music for like twelve years before oh, okay. that. So okay. I, a songwriter, singer, songwriter. Uh, so I used to play on stage all the time. Yeah, just not comedy. Right. But I, I, um, I set up like an hour show where the first, say, 20 minutes, I talked about all the jobs that I had and I got fired from mm. um, on my way to becoming a comedian. So it was like, I just said the first job. The way I opened the set was like, thanks for coming along. I've been fired from every job I've ever had. Right? And that was the opening line. And I was like, that's what you paid to watch tonight. Mm. A guy that can't hold down even a single job. And everyone's like kind of <laughs> laughing at why we can't see this idiot on a stage, you know, like I can't, can't hold the job down, you know. And then I went in like the first job I ever had and had a photo of me on it and how I got fired. And the stuff I got fired from was mental. Like I would give, once I just didn't turn up for two weeks of shifts and I called the guy back saying, when's my next shift? After not turning up for two weeks of shifts, like I got fired <laughs> guess man you don't work here anymore you, <laughs> you haven't turned up in the last two weeks obviously like the roster was set and i just didn't turn up and then i called him and i was like hey harris like just wondering when the next shift is he's like what the fuck are you talking about yeah you haven't been here for two weeks <laughs> <laughs> so, and then no I, wonder yeah man i just talked about then um like wog stuff yeah yeah as half you of should, my yeah. life was aussies half oh, of wogs okay. nice. so i talk about wog compliments how aussies mm. compliment nice. how i got th uh, threatened as a as a child how my aussie mates used to threaten their kids so it was a big thing and then the last course the last third was about my wife Oh, and okay, nice. marriage and my okay. wife so it's good man like just segments yeah yeah yeah, yeah and That's i still good. got that kind of format now mm. um there's so much there's so much to talk about like, i know yeah but the first show i ever did went for an hour and a half Wow, that's insane! Dude, I man. couldn't stop talking, bro. Like, and people were enjoying it and like, laughing. Dude, and they loved it. They loved it. Wow. Yeah, I Unreal. met everyone after the show. They waited around to meet at the, after the show. That's crazy. It's crazy, man. I see. Like, it's it. I mean, kudos to you because I would never be able to do that. Yeah, dude, I loved it, man. I mean, I, I was I mean, nervous you, as shit. But well, yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, it does. It does help that you had that stage presence for music because, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I'm just thinking, trying to think for myself. It's like. I've been doing comedy for almost 10 years. Yeah. It's coming up at nine. That's but awesome. um, like, I can't imagine never doing stand up. Oh, really? At the age I was, and then going and doing an hour. Of, so you started of, at 20. Yeah. Like, but I mean, um, when, when, did, when did you. I started at like 34. Was, right. So you're older, right? Yeah, so you yeah. had all the experiences 35. already. Yeah. You were just pretty much already, you already knew yourself, yeah. right? I didn't fucking know shit at 20. I had the jokes already, That's man. what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Because you already told them to your friends, your family, yeah, right? Exactly. So you're just doing that just yeah. on stage. But me, yeah. as a young man, I'm like, what the fuck am I even... I don't even know what joke what a joke yeah, is, you know? Man. It's like, you don't, don't you know, haven't experienced what life enough. About. No. Right? That's so right. So that's why it's, it makes sense why you're 34 and it's yeah. your first time. It's like, all right, they can, they can see how fuck. that could go better. 
Someone at 20, right? It's Dude, like absolutely, man. Like, I don't know. If I was you at that age, I'd be doing just topical stuff, I suppose. Like, yeah, that's all you can do. It's just that's basic all you can shit. do. Yeah. 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 All, all I was doing for like four years was fat jokes. Yeah, was, yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, there you go. But yeah. it's so surface level. It's not, yeah. you know, anyone can do them, right? You, but yeah, you can't do them forever. No, you can't. That's, and then it gets old really fast. But it's like me, I can't do wog jokes forever. Like, no. Cunts want me to talk about other shit and... Well, I think if it's still authentic to you, you should be allowed to continue to joke about it and For talk sure. about it because it's your experience. Yeah, yeah. But find ways to make it creative and, you know, weave them into stories or... That's right, right yeah. Not just, oh, here's Wog and here's that, you know what I'm saying? That's right. It's not like a video where no, you can I do like that. storytelling, man. That's kind yeah. of my thing, you know. I suppose that's why I write music. I like the lyrical part of things. Yeah. And I only used to write the music so I can write lyrics to it. So nice. if, if you gave me beats... I'm super happy top lining them. I've mm. got a producer in the UK oh, really? sends me beats and I just I write the melody and the lyrics to it and I voc put vocals on it and send it back to him. Oh sick. Yeah, so it's like and then he'll give it to a girl, like an R and B girl to do it or whatever. Oh. It's called top lining. Okay. I I'm happy with that, but uh, I sick. suppose I've always just wanted to um write stuff. So man, it's funny, my the guy that used to play in my band said to me once People come to our shows and they've told me, he was a drummer, that they like you ranting on the mic in between songs because mm. I used to get really sarcastic and funny between songs. I'd tell the crowd about something that happened to me today. I don't know, for 45 seconds. Yeah. And it'd be a bit, oh, right? Yeah. Sure. So I was always funny, mm. always funny. And I have the crowd laughing. I'd say sarcastic shit, like, please clap because none of us here have real deep self-esteem we have self-esteem <laughs> issues and they'd be laughing because yeah. they, you know, they're musicians are right. like that yeah so my man's like man keep the banter up uh, because people like it interesting and then um once i said to him i was like man you know what's gonna be sick one day i'm gonna walk out on stage with no instruments i won't have to set up anything and the band will be ready and i'll just walk out to the mic and i'll just get to do my shit and then walk off stage yeah and he's like, nah, man, that's not you, man. You need to be the guitarist and all that stuff. I was like, nah, trust me, I'll, I'll, I'll work it out. Yeah. And it's fucking funny. The band broke up and then Vlad started. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, 12 months after the band broke up. Damn. The channel started. And that's what happened. I just turned up on stage with the mic. Ah. It's fucking funny, man, to me. Like, I, I look at that stuff. I'm like, oh, man. You know, that's weird what you say and what can happen from it. You know, I'm manifest. Not, yeah, I don't know about whether that, but it's just weird. I wanted that and it happened. It happens when you least expect it. Yes, I've got to admit that. Fucking least expected, man. It's Because you're not clutching to some shit. You're trying to control the outcome or trying yeah, to, you know, yeah. trying to fall in love, for example, you're single. Yeah. So hard to find someone when you want it. Oh, man, it's impossible. I've given up. Giving up's the <laughs> best thing you could do, man. <laughs> just having a bunch of fun. And you become attractive to people because you're fun and you're having a great life. So they're just like, I want to, I want to be on board with mm. that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Otherwise, you're like a s fucking salesperson. I know. Yeah, that's true. You're you're actively seeking for it. Girls can smell they that. They can smell from a mile away. They don't like it. Yeah, and that's why I feel like I did that a lot growing mm. up, my whole life. But mm. I'm at a point now where I'm like, ah, fuck it, bro. I'm just gonna work on my shit. And then like have fun. It'll come, I don't yeah. know. Like, because I do want to find a, a a woman to settle down with eventually. That would be my ride or die. You heard the you man. You know, you heard the man. Yeah. yeah what I'm is not it? chasing. 90, 90 I'm just saying. Guys watching this. Yeah. Any guys <laughs> interested, bro? Because I might as well. Just nah, nah. If you got any sisters, <laughs> <laughs> that want cousins. A, a very funny person, man. Come yeah, in please, and, please, or or your mom. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um. But no, that would never happen because there's no Persian single moms. That would never happen. Dude, where I had my first girlfriend break up with me, like young, 19 yeah. or 21 years old, years old or whenever it happened. You know, like, I don't know if you've ever, like, had a, a girlfriend that you're fucking quite into and then you get heartbroken. Yeah. Dude, there would have been about five years or four or five years there where I couldn't stop thinking about her. Like, I just wanted her back. Can I get back with her? Can I go on with other girls as well, but always comparing them. To her, like, oh, she was the best, blah, blah, blah. And then something just happened in my life and I forgot about her totally. Mm. Because I could I, I just forgot about her. And then my my wife came in. 
Like two months later. Oh, wow. Yeah. Two months later. Also, I just remember, just for, I haven't thought about this girl for ages. Really? And then my wife turned up. Like my girlfriend at that time that ended up being my wife. Like you t- you uh, forgot about your ex two months after you broke up? No, no. I, I had her in my head for like four or five years. Like finding oh. it hard to get over her. Oh, even like, when you were with your now wife? No, no. Oh, no. this was after? No, so I had my first girlfriend say like 18 to 20. Oh, right? okay. Serious girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Dating every day with yeah, each yeah. other. Shit went sour. She broke up with me. I found it very hard to recover from that because it was like my first love. Oh, yeah. And she just ghosted me. Like, can't talk Damn. to her or whatever. No contact whatsoever. Shit. So I was like, I don't know why we're broken up. But she's like, look, don't contact me. Wow. That was it. That's why. So she, yeah, I was fucked. Anyway, it's character building. <laughs> so I ended up um, like just kind of being a bit flat, a bit miserable, comparing every other girlfriend I had to her. And then it came to a point, I think, I started the band maybe or music or whatever. I was like, oh, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like I'm loving this process of writing music, getting on stage. I'm 24 years old or whatever. And I put sunk all my energy into that process, like what you're doing. And at my show, my wife turned up. So she oh. was at a show and I was like, I got off stage and I walked up to her and a couple of friends. I was like, hey, what are you who are you here to see? Oh, we know the keyboard player in your band and all of that stuff. And then I, I got to meet her and incidentally fell in love with her. But it wasn't until I totally forgot. Oh, the previous. The previous. So, yeah, like okay. I couldn't find anyone. Oh, interesting. And then when I literally forgot it, you know what I mean? Like This is deja vu, bro. I feel like I've heard this before. This is tripping yeah. me out. Fuck, I, I don't know, man. Like, do you I watch? I like someone else has told me this before. Do you, else do, do you watch Dr. Phil a lot? <laughs> no. I've, been, I've been to his house as well. <laughs> 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 Dr. Phil. Uh, yeah, but now, that being said, I'm getting over women dumb quick now. <laughs> like, I fucking know the issues that can happen with women now. Oh, now. I've been man. married, kids. They're not as pretty as they fucking look. Oh, you know? wow. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Crazy. Get ready. Get ready for it, man. Oh, like, my goodness. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I love my wife. You got to say that so you don't sound like a cunt. Yeah. You know, yeah. anytime you're on stage, you want to say some racist shit? Yeah. You got to say, I love black people, yeah. but. <laughs> I love yeah. black people. I love Asian guys. But love Asians. Why, but <laughs> why are they accountants? Like, yeah. You... <laughs> I have a whole, like, five minute bit about. I two lines about how I love Chinese people. Yeah. The rest is just complete racist. It's just, just racism. But like in a with like Good. with it's funny. It but, is funny. But it's not like it's not hateful. It's just it's it's racist. But do you know Chinese people are super racist as well? hundred percent. Every fucking immigrant culture is every, racist. Every, everyone is. And why they, they don't want to yeah, they don't want to admit it. That, well I used to work with Chinese people and I would say to them sometimes, like when we became pretty close, they would look at Eastern Europeans as peasants. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They, they think like I'm a, weird. They look at me yeah. like I'm an alien. Yeah, yeah. I literally have a joke about this where I'm like, I'm actually, I don't want to give it away because I'm it's part of my tour set right now. But mm. like, it's <laughs> if you ever ask, I feel like because Chinese people are typically very, um, what's it called, the, um, tribal with yeah. their own people. Yeah. As soon as you kind of step into their zone. They look at you like you're an alien sometimes. <laughs> like they don't even understand who, what what you are. Yeah. Like one like I We are very different to their culture. It's so different. Yeah, their culture very different. Fuck is nothing like mass. Oh, it kind mm. of is in a way, but not really. Yeah, as well. It's just so different. Like they're yeah. uh, the Chinese people are pretty much the only and Indians, I think I guess too, are the yeah. only ones where they'll they'll just stick to, with each other. Yeah, it's comfort. They won't really man. expand out, outside yeah. of their own groups. If they're born here they will. Yeah, yeah, typically, yeah. maybe, but you even know, then, we, man, like even, you're Canadian, you can hang around with anyone, really. Yeah, but n- that's not necessarily, man. Even all the Asian people I grew up with in high school, middle school, afterwards, like they're Canadian, mm. they're just like me. Oh, they only have Asian friends. Yeah, they well, they stay. See. They eventually revert back to their roots. There's something there. You no, know? it's something There's about comfort it. in your tribe. Yeah, I don't. Is. It's nothing. I mean, it's not bad, I guess, but it's most just of an my observation. mates are not so most of them. Yeah. I've got Greek mates, Italian mates. I've yeah, but you more. have them. You yeah. have those other ones. But oh, typically Asians, they won't really have any other I think it's friends. a comfort thing, man. Yeah, There's know. a lot of commonality there, bro. Yeah, you, for sure, yeah. You just hang out. You get to... My wife's Maso, and 
I dated a Lebo girl for some time. Oh fuck. Yeah. Beautiful woman. Yeah, she was gorgeous, man. Damn. I'm but jealous, I just bro. couldn't I couldn't be with her as much as I could hang out like with my missus. I dated Greek girl, Lebo mm. girl, like Aussie. I could not with the Aussie. They're terrible? Bro. I just couldn't date Why? her. Why? It's just too clashy in the culture. Really? Yeah. They don't understand your culture? Yeah, not that me me not understanding theirs that much. Because oh, you go over you to my relate. wife's dad's house, like I fit in like a glove as soon as I walked in. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, come in, come in, sit down. I felt like you speak language. Like my uncle, I'm hanging out at my family's house. When I was hanging around with like Brooke, her father, like it just felt weird. Like there's a wall, wall, world between us or a wall between us. <laughs> as as nice as he was, I was an Aussie. Right. I'm not. I'm a masso. Yeah. And that's another thing. People are like you're Aussie. I'm like, yeah, I live here, but I'm I'm Macedonian. Like my whole yeah. lineage is from Macedonia. Right. So when when people ask me what I am, I never say Australian. That's that, that's what I do too. I, I'm Maso. Right. I never say like you know, I, if I live in Canada, I wouldn't say I'm Canadian. Right. It says it on my passport. Yeah. But I don't say it to people. Interesting. No. The only time I'd say it is to a, a, an American. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they yeah. don't. Even yeah. What know. are you? I go. I'm, I'm Aussie. I'm from there. Oh, but what are you? Oh. Then you'll say, yeah. Yeah. Because at first you just can't, don't trust that they're going to know what Macedonia people are. They're not going to know shit yeah. about <laughs> Macedonia, bro. Well, I don't understand why they don't learn about the world, man. Uh, I mean. They don't need to. They don't need to. They, they have around. a whole world of their own there, man. Yeah. there's Every state is different. Yeah. It's its own country, almost. It is like you that. Know? Yeah, well, Utah's totally different than Cali. I'm, I'm interested to visit Utah. It was It was nice. I loved it. Yeah, but yeah. I skied, man. Like, uh, I mean, what do you I want to do ski comedy? Too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's good. Fucking know if it's nice, man. It's mad. Mormons like, everywhere. Yes. And they're nice as shit. Yeah, I know. They're so nice, man. Yeah. People say, like, you know, America's a, a shithole, and some of the people are shit, um, for sure. And Just like everywhere the, else, though. Yeah, but mostly, like, the loud blue-haired morons on the <laughs> internet. But you go down <laughs> the street in the Utah. The blue-haired morons. They're not like that in Utah, man. He's he's yeah, having a coffee and a donut at a she's normal person. <laughs> he's not yelling at you. Not like here, the green hair goblins. The green hair goblins here, you know. Even there, like there was a green hair goblin parking the car when I was coming around the block, this building, and I and she took about eight times to put the car of in. Of course she did. This narrow little back street. Right. And she was driving a big car. And she shouldn't have been, right? Classic. So women don't drive big cars. <laughs> and and she had her windows open. And as she parked it, I crawled up next to her and I looked at her and she's young and she looks at me and I go, the street was designed for horses <laughs> like that. And she went, what? I was like, the street is not for cars, it's for horses. And she goes, <laughs> okay. And I was like, all right, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> the street's so narrow. She didn't even to, yeah, she did not get like, yeah, what I was Yeah, she didn't understand what the hell you just nah. said. Like a fucking horse is narrow, dude. Yeah, no. Yeah, she's literally. not getting nothing. She doesn't understand what's she going just on. Kind Sorry, of went, they don't understand. She, I think she said thank you. Oh. She, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for the reparations. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm a boomer for sure. Today. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. man. Well. So we've done a seven hour podcast today. Yeah, it was good, man. Good yeah, combo, bro. It was good. I appreciate I'll have you on my on, one man. as well, man. Yeah. If you're, if you're around. For much longer in, in Sydney. I don't know when you're going back. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're leaving like two weeks, man. Going back home in two weeks. So. Oh, that's sick. Uh, home man, stretch. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it thanks, fun. Yeah, thanks for doing it, man. We'll, we'll film some shit now. You yeah, know? Yeah. We're going to do some content, guys. We're going to do some content? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Gary Vee. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where I've seen you. Yeah. It's not the jogging one. Gary V. Yeah. The, content? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done that in a minute. It's been a while, but, you know. It's funny because you were like... St- you were ripping into him, mm. but you're complimentary at the same time. Yeah, yeah, because I actually love him. You love him. Yeah, yeah. And and I kind of love him as well, but I used to rip into him in my podcast like a lot. Just talking about, I call him Gary Can of V because there's the cans of V. Over <laughs> there. Okay, and I used to always just talk about cans like him that they're set up with other businesses bringing in millions of dollars. Yeah. You know? And he's loving life doing a little vlog on a train and stuff like that. He's sort of... Oh, Money yeah. wise, you know, hundred percent. He's not like us. Go, why did I get eighteen hundred views on the YouTube? Like, <laughs> yeah. he's yeah. And, and there's it's it's there's only so much you can do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he gets home, he's like, "Hey, hun, another eighteen grand came in." 
<laughs> this That's minute, so you know, true. I'm getting 20 grand a minute. This cunt. <laughs> like, he's not What are we having out. for dinner? Surf and turf, uh, <laughs> yeah. pizza, whatever we want. Mushroom sauce. No like, problem. Yeah. yeah. He's not, he's not tripping. Not worried. So I, I kind of get it. And at the same time, it's like hilarious. I love his motivational stuff. Mm. But then at the same time, you can watch him for 10 years and be in the same spot, dude. <laughs> yeah. And just go, fuck, why are I, well, why I mean, are I booming Of now? course. Well, I mean, that's the that's his message is that, you know, don't stop listening to me and start doing it. I like that. Because you did that and yeah, he kind of got you yeah, through he in got a way. Through. And then yeah. I actually haven't seen his stuff really that much. Since? Recently. It's just... Well, because I'm doing what I have to do, I exactly. guess, right? But I still you watch listen his stuff. to his advice. I still yeah. listen to his stuff, though. I always that's watch actually stuff. cool, man. Like that's a, such a cool story that through your imitations of him, yeah, it really blew I his know. advice. Blew you up, yeah. Like literally, it's it, great. it was. It was and you met a him? formula. Yeah, yeah. I was on stage with him. Oh, that's great, yeah, dude. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. I can see why you're fucking hungry to make content all the time. You're not no. Australian, bro. Very un-Australian <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> We, we we despise people like you. You're too I driven. Know. I know. You're you're gonna be you're gonna own a portfolio of properties yeah. if you live here, bro. One hundred percent. Yeah. I can. I can the, the top hobby syndrome is heavy over here. We respect tenants over here. Yeah. We want you renting yeah. for life. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's exactly how it is, man. That's why I'm happy. I'm like, all right. It's all God. poppy syndrome is real here, bro. I know. I know. It's so real. I feel it. I feel it. You will fucking feel it the longer you're here, and not only will you feel it. You'll succumb to it one day. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. It's That's why we're like, I'm happy I'm leaving now. Isn't Can Canada, Canada, isn't Canada tall Similar. poppy? Uh, not as much as here. Really? So so a little bit. Are, they're fucking psyched for you. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Not as much. Uh, but uh, I mean, America is amazing for that. I'll tell you what Australians do, right? For this, a classic wog line. If your mates see you like doing something big, they're not going to come up and say, fuck, man. Like, they will. They'll, do you know who w will? Like, people that don't know you that much. Oh, I saw your video blowing up or whatever. But your close, close mates, if you go, man, I've got to go and shoot a video, man, I'm, I'm taking this serious. They'll go, relax, hero. Oh, that's big. God. Relax, hero. Oh, like, you're being cringe. a hero. Relax, hero. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. <laughs> you would have lost a week here. No, bro. I would be yeah. fighting everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I would lose friends immediately. Because you're driven, bro. Well, I mean, yeah. It's the immigrant mentality to drive. Yeah. And, and North America, it's a bit of both. It's kind of not bad, man, because there's a lot of innovation in that world. Yeah. You, you innovate, you move forward. Yeah, there's, there's so many more resources and opportunities and money, for that matter. And people aren't fucking against you. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of good. Yeah. You know? I agree, man. Oh, you slip into that fucking tall poppy thing, man. We all have. <laughs> <laughs> relax it's okay man we'll, we'll get you out there yeah get me out we'll man. get you out mate yeah. no worries no dramas all right man that was all good right, man well thanks for doing it if you have anything to plug just do it right here please nothing to plug apart from i don't know come watch the uh shows next year but that's a long time away i've got a new show next year but follow my cousin vlad on insta tiktok i've got a podcast called this that with my cousin vlad um that's the top five podcast in macedonia at the moment <laughs> Um, it's it's not bad in Namibia as well. It's been it's in the charts, top one hundred in Namibia. Under I don't know under under the Nature Channel, like it's comedy, but somehow in Africa they think it's the nature topics. And uh, that's it, bro. Um, yeah, go and check that out and follow the page. And thanks, yeah. Nima, man. Awesome. Really thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Thank you. Eat them all. All right. Peace.